on the Badger Sports Network from Learfield IMG College. This is the Wisconsin football dream season presented by American Family Insurance. 35-30, there he goes, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown, Wisconsin, 51 yards. Also brought to you by your Wisconsin and UP4 dealers, inviting you to visit your local Ford store or buyfordnow.com. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. Visit uwsportsmedicine.org. Dairyland Seed, proud partner of Wisconsin football and Wisconsin farmers. And by American Family Insurance, insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Here's the voice of the Badgers, Matt LePay. Welcome to the American Family Insurance pregame show as this week we look back a decade ago to 2011 and an extraordinarily highly anticipated game, the Wisconsin Badgers and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. It was Nebraska's first official conference game as a member of the Big Ten, probably one they would like to forget, but it was definitely a memorable evening for the Wisconsin Badgers. We're trying to figure out how good Nebraska was. We had a real good idea of how good Wisconsin was that season. Let's take a look at the starting lineups presented by U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank, a proud sponsor of the Wisconsin Badgers as we look at the Huskers on offense, their dual threat quarterback, Team Magic, they called him Taylor Martinez, Rex Burkhead, a good running back, a couple of really good wide receivers, Quincy Anunwa and Kenny Bell helping lead the way for the Huskers. For the Badgers on offense, this was an offense that scored 44 points a game that 2011 season. Russell Wilson at the controls. Monte Ball, Brady Ewing, the running back combination. Check out those receivers, Nick Toon and Jared Abraderis, and an offensive line made up of a lot of pros, including Rick Wagner and Travis Frederick on the left side of the line. For the Huskers on defense, Jared Crick helping anchor that defensive line at the tackle spot. Levante David helping out big in the linebacking core for Nebraska. Badgers on defense, good on all levels in Zegwu, Buttram, and Hemer, along with Brandon Kelly up front. There's two excellent linebackers in Mike Taylor and Chris Borland. Des Southward and Aaron Henry helping anchor the Wisconsin defense. Let's get now to our NFL spotlight as today we focus on Russell Wilson. Played just one year in Madison, but what a year it was. Ended up being drafted by the Seattle Seahawks in 2012, a Super Bowl champion. This past season's Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year. Nine seasons, believe it or not, for Russell in the National Football League, starting all 160 games that he has had the chance to start, 16 including the postseason, an eight-time Pro Bowler. And in 2019, he was second team All-Pro. Stay with us. Our American Family Insurance pregame show continues. This is the dream season from Learfield IMG College. Buying your first home is the start of realizing bigger dreams with your family. That's why it's important to protect everything you love with American Family Insurance. Wait, what's that? It's their dream car. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, it's actually my dream car. And my little dream tire swing with some dream trees. There'd be a nice dream garden right here, too. Protect your dream home with American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Rocket drive block? Rush a pole crush? Jam a grand slam? Drunk? Drunk? That'd be insane! Rolling that? Rolling this? Roll together? Drunk? That would be super insane. Hey, all you ladies. And guys. Drive sober on the road. No matter how many wheels you roll. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Badgers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Cenex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Cenex station. Badger Pride, powered locally. Welcome back to the American Family Insurance pregame show as we get you ready for the 2011 
Big Ten Conference opener, the Badgers against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Time now for our home field advantage presented by Carrier. We mentioned there was a huge buildup for this game. The crowd was electric before opening kickoff. And a number two, remember, 27 and three. Entering this game with Nebraska, the Badgers have proven that they love the bright lights of a primetime game. 27 and three in its previous 30 games at night. That includes nine and two, nine out of the last 11 night games at Camp Randall Stadium. Badger fans, give your home field an advantage with energy efficient home heating and cooling systems by Carrier. Find your local Carrier expert at www.carrier.com backslash residential today. Now let's take a quick look at the field and weather conditions presented by Dairyland Seed. A kind of cool night, 51 degrees, a light breeze out of the north and a little light rain falling as we get you ready for the opening kickoff. Speaking of which, the opening kick presented by Odyssey Greek Yogurt is just moments away. Kick off your day with thick, creamy, and all-natural Greek yogurt with real flavorful fruit. Odyssey Greek Yogurt. This is the Wisconsin Football Dream Season from Learfield IMG College. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey Yogurt. I asked Mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. They better get season tickets right now because before long, they probably won't be able to. Wisconsin wins the Rose Bowl! Big Ten champion. Rod Dane down the left sideline. And there it is. You do not want him in your secondary. Back to back Rose Bowl champions. Matt Shaver to Lee Evans. Ball is loose. Badgers have it. And this game is underway with a bang. And the Wisconsin Badgers are Big Ten champions. I want you Caught by Duckworth. The Wisconsin Badgers are headed to Pasadena. Touch the flame where the seats have no name. The Wisconsin Badgers have won their fifth consecutive bowl game. On the Badger Sports Network from Learfield IMG College, this is the Wisconsin football dream season presented by American Family Insurance. Here comes Melvin to the 25, to the 20, Gordon 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Wisconsin, record-breaking run, Melvin Gordon, 4 8 also brought to you by Odyssey Greek Yogurt, made in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. Johnsonville, a family-owned Wisconsin-based company and a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, served with pride since 1945. Alliant Energy, powering beyond. And by U.S. Bank, helping individuals and businesses work toward their financial goals. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. It's game time. Here's Matt LaPay and Mike Lucas. Brett Maher will kick off 
for the Cornhuskers. Deep men for the Badgers will be James White and Jared Abraderos. Maher has a very strong leg. 29 kickoffs this year through four games, 12 touchbacks. And we repeat, the wind is no factor here tonight. We are ready to go. Maher on the approach. Kick is away. James White will catch at the goal line. Right side, 5 to the 10. 15 to the 20-yard line and tripped up just across the 20. And this game is underway. And a Badger is slow to get up on the uh, kick return team. Cannot tell who it is. Is it Wozniak? But, uh, I can't tell. I, uh, the athletic trainers are out looking at him right now. As uh, the Badgers will be starting just across their uh, 20-yard line. They will mark at the 22. We are underway, and a Badger is already shaken up. To reset Wisconsin up front, offensively, Ricky Wagner, Travis Frederick, Peter Kahn's Kevin Zeitler and Josh Oglesby. Frederick, Kahn's and Zeitler will have their hands full here tonight with Jared Crick and Baker Steinkuhler, the defensive tackles for Nebraska. Jared Crick is on everybody's All-American list, and Steinkuhler is not far behind. That's a very famous name in Nebraska football history. His dad was an Outland Trophy and Lombardi Award winner. Yep, Dean Steinkuhler won those awards back in 1983 for the Cornhuskers. He's an old lineman. Just had the opening kickoff, and the athletic trainers tending to an injured Badger who has now helped to his feet. Yep, Brian Wozniak, the uh, redshirt sophomore out of Loveland, Ohio, now up on his feet. And he's able to, to walk off, although he looks woozy, but he is up on his feet and making his way to the Wisconsin sidelines. So the Badgers will start at their 22, first and 10 with Russell Wilson at the controls. He has completed 76% of his passes for 11 good for touchdowns and just one interception. Badgers going right to left here in the first quarter of play. That is south to north at Camp Randall Stadium. Nick Toon and Jared Abraderis double wide to the left with Toon in the slot. Monty Ball, the single running back. Jacob Pedersen, wing on the right side. In motion to the left. First play from scrimmage on the ground to Ball. Probing the left side and being drilled right at the point of attack by Jared Crick, the 285-pound senior defensive tackle. Second and long coming up for Wisconsin. And those are the one-on-one battles on the line of scrimmage. Crick coming off the block attempt by Travis Frederick. You have to sustain your blocks on these types of athletes that Nebraska has on its defensive front. No gain, second and 10 for the Badgers at their 22-yard line. Offset eye now with Brady Ewing, the fullback, ball the tailback, double wide to the right. Wilson will hand a ball over the right side and Monty drives up to about the 25-yard line on a gain of three. Up off the stack is outside linebacker Sean Fisher, a junior from Omaha. Third and seven for the Badgers at their 25. Huskers have gone through a transition from the type of defense they played played last year, which featured six defensive backs, to playing with linebackers other than in passing situations where they go back to nickel and dime. Yeah, the spread teams were plentiful in the Big 12 Conference, existing in the Big 10, just not so much. Badgers spread them out now. Three receivers left, one to the right. Wilson in the shotgun, ball to the right of the quarterback. Blitz coming, Wilson in trouble, gets away from one, shoots it left side, Abradaris makes the catch across the 45 and up to the 47-yard line. Siante Evans on the tackle. I'll tell you something, that wasn't spectacular, but it again shows the footwork of Wilson to avoid the rush, to avoid the blitz, buy himself time to get the first down throw. Badgers had a breakdown on their offensive line in terms of who's supposed to pick up Jared Crick. I would think someone would try to find a way to stand in front of Crick. He was the one who whipped on the tackle attempt on Wilson. Gain of 21 and a first down to the 47-yard line of Wisconsin. Well, 22-yard gain, actually. James White in the lineup now. He takes the handoff, trying to cut off to his right. He's taken down at the 48. Damian Stafford, the safety, junior out of North Coast, California, with the stop. They'll mark at the 49 on a gain of two, second and eight, ball in Wisconsin territory. Matt, pretty good example of the difference in athleticism and speed from the first four opponents Wisconsin saw as far as their safeties and the ability of a Damian Stafford to get up and prevent James White from bouncing it to the boundary. That's right. When you watch tape in Nebraska, the defense statistically isn't has not been impressive, but the athletes are very impressive. Two receivers right. One to the left. That's Manessa Garner wide to the left. 
Wilson in the gun, ball to his left, second and eight for the Badgers, their own 49-yard line. Wilson back to throw, looks, shoots it left side, that's caught. And that's Jacob Pedersen, incomplete, jarred loose into double coverage. Lance Thorell over there and Andrew Green out of the secondary, able to knock loose that attempt for a completion from the Badgers tight end, Jacob Pedersen, make it third down and eight for the Badgers at their 49-yard line. A little more than two and a half minutes gone by, no score here at Camp Randall Stadium. Jared Aberderis wide to the right, Vanessa Garner slot right, Nick Toon wide left. Wilson back in the gun, ball to his left. Third and eight, Badgers in their own territory at the 49-yard line. Wilson takes the snap, blitz coming again. Levante David with the sack inside the 40-yard line of Wisconsin. Levante David, a linebacker who can fly, comes through clean, sacks Russell Wilson. They'll mark it the Badger 40, and Wisconsin is forced to punt on fourth and 17. Pedersen really late in identifying the blitz, was slow to get over. Badgers having problems picking up that early blitz from Nebraska's defense. Cornhuskers with twin safeties, Tim Marlowe and Amir Abdullah. Abdullah in particular can be very, very dangerous. Brad Nortman on to punt, snap is clean, pressure light, Huskers set the return, kick is in the air, Abdullah will signal for the fair catch, and he'll make it inside the 20, about the 17-yard line in Nebraska territory. 11.40 left in the first quarter, Wisconsin and Nebraska, no score. This is Badger Football from Learfield Sports. U.S. Bank is a proud sponsor of Wisconsin Athletics. If you have a smartphone or tablet, you can have your bank with you wherever you go. With U.S. Bank Mobile, you'll spend less time managing your money and more time doing the things you love. Sign up today at usbank.com or your app store. Restrictions and fees may apply. U.S. Bank National Association, member FDIC. On this game day, Good Foods Guacamole would like to salute all you players. No matter what you seem to be playing, you, sir, are a winner. You, ma'am, triumphant, and thumbs up to whatever it is you're doing. So let's hoist a guac-laden chip to all you players out there. Good Foods Guac, made from the freshest avocado and the cleanest ingredients. So here's to all the players and whatever game it is they're trying to play. Game day is guac day. Good Foods Guac. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet on the sunny side, the sunny side of the street. If we build this, all the legendary players will magically appear and we'll have sports again. I call it the field of fame. Of course, I'll have to tear down the garage, fill in the pool, and lose the trees. So can I get a loan? So as your friend, I love it. But as your banker, not so much. Let me talk to the friend. You could always invest in a college fund. No, my kids aren't going to college. They're going to work at the stadium. Our kids are going to college. Sports are back. My wife wants to build a college. And not a moment too soon. I backs Taylor Martinez, the quarterback. Tyler Legate, the fullback. Rex Burkhead, the tailback, toss right side to Burkhead, probing across the 20-yard line, up to about the 22, and then with an extra push, maybe he bought himself another yard or so. Let's see. I may have marked him out of bounds. They say he stepped out of the 22, a gain of four. Nebraska's point of attack was number 97, Brendan Kelly, who's taken over as the starter at defensive end for the injured David Gilbert. Gilbert out indefinitely. Double wide to the left. High formation again, Martinez, little option. He'll keep it over the 25-yard line, Martinez. Up to the 28, near the 29. That's very close to and should be a first down. Looks like they'll place the 29 of Nebraska, and they do. And Gilbert would not have been a big difference maybe in this game, but he had more strength and weight than Kelly on the line of scrimmage. Mike Taylor in on that tackle for Wisconsin. Pistol formation now for the Huskers. Two receivers left, one to the right. The Nebraska 29-yard line. Back to throw. Martinez lets it rip left side. That's caught inside the 35. Now shooting across the 35 and up near the 40 is Jamal Turner, freshman receiver, up to the 39 of Nebraska. Chris Borland on the tackle, first down for the Cornhuskers. Pretty nifty move by Turner to go backwards to gain ground forward, and that's where the Badgers have to be good, stopping yards after catch. Four minutes gone by, no score. First and 10 Huskers are on 39. I-bats, play fake, 
Back to throw Martinez, winds up, throws it deep down the middle for Quincy and Nunwa overshotting right down the middle of the 20-yard line in Wisconsin Territory. Pass overthrown, incomplete. Marcus Cromarty with help from Aaron Henry on the coverage. Takes some getting used to to watch Taylor Martinez, the way he loads up the pass and then delivers. Yeah, it's somewhere between sidearm and three-quarter, and sometimes it, looked like he, it looks like he's pushing it. It's like a shot put. Second and 10 for the Huskers from their own 39. Two receivers right, one left, pistol formation. Burkhead behind Taylor Martinez, the quarterback who lines up five yards behind his center, Mike Caputo, and now the Huskers need a timeout. There's uh, Cole Polini saying something he didn't care for. And Nebraska taking a timeout. 10.52 left in the first quarter. No score. Huskers a second and 10 at their own 39. We've already seen a little bit of a tweak by defensive line coach Charlie Partridge on this opening possession with Brendan Kelly. He's got to make sure that it's not easy to find where Kelly is if they're going to target his inexperience. So you'll see Kelly line up on either side as a defensive end opposite and Zegwu. With the starting lineups, Kevin Claxton working his way back into the starting lineup. Ethan Armstrong and Claxton playing a little tag team with that outside backer position. Martinez under center now. Double wide to the right. Eye formation. Option left side. Martinez will keep it. Turns the corner across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. And that's it. Gain of about three. Ethan Hemer over there defensively for Wisconsin. Gain of three. Third down and seven. Nebraska at its own 42-yard line. Martinez has rushed for over 100 yards seven times in his career, including the first two games this year. They mark at the 41, so that's a gain of just two, third and eight. Martinez in the gun. Five receivers for Nebraska. Three on the right, two on the left. Third and eight, Nebraska for the Cornhuskers 41-yard line. Martinez takes the snap. Back to throw. Has time. Pumps. Now pressured by Inzegru. Martinez gets away from him. Drop the ball. He'll try to pounce at the 35. A scramble for it at the 35. It appears Nebraska has recovered. It was Brendan Kelly. Brendan Kelly able to slap the ball away. Martinez a little loose with it, holding it out. Kelly slapped it free. But Nebraska is able to recover and will punt from its own 35. And give credit to Anzegu, who chased Martinez out of the pocket. Brett Maher, Brett Maher, who kicks, also punts. Aberderis deep at the Badger 20-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the Huskers 35. Snap is clean, pressure light, kick is away, a line drive, a chance for Abraderis. He'll catch at the 18, trying to cut to his left by the first wave, 20, 25, 30, 35 yard line, cuts to his right. Abraderis drilled to the turf, and the ball popped out, and a pile for it. Let's see who has it. A good return by Abraderis, but the ball was knocked loose, and the officials still have yet the signal. Let's see. Huskers say they have it, and they do. Nebraska football. So a nifty return, all for naught, as it looked like that was Kenny Bell, and it was, who's a receiver in the offense, playing kick coverage. He comes up with a loose ball, and the Huskers off the turnover have a first and 10 at the Wisconsin 39-yard line. 9-16 left first quarter, no score. That's a heck of a tackle, too. They put a helmet on the ball, and that's how Aberderis lost it. So there's the first turnover of the night. It was P.J. Smith, I believe. Defensive back with the forced fumble. Here's Martinez running right, and he'll drive down to the 35 of Wisconsin. Chris Borland in there to help slow down the Cornhuskers quarterback. Martinez runs for four to the 35 of Wisconsin, where it's second and six. Six minutes gone by. Huskers into Wisconsin territory. It was the first loss fumble of the season for Wisconsin. Wide receivers either side of the formation. And then Kenny to the right, Kenny Bell to the left. Pistol formation with Rex Burkhead behind the quarterback, Taylor Martinez. Barks out the signals. The lineup five yards behind his center. Corners up tight on the receivers. Martinez back to throw, looking, throws it deep left side. And it is incomplete down at the five-yard line. Pass intended for Quincy Anunwa of Nebraska. And the coverage, tight coverage from Marcus Cromarty. Ball underthrown. Coverage was tight. Third and six Nebraska at the Badgers' 35-yard line. But what Martinez is trying to set up is some jump balls downfield with his taller receivers. Anunwa is 6-2. Four wides, two either way. Pistol formation again for the Badger 35-yard line. Third and six Nebraska. 
8.33 left in the first quarter. No score in Madison. Here's the snap to Martinez again. Wants the throw. Looking. Fires left seam. Nice catch. Inside the 25 and down near the 20-yard line. First down, Nebraska. Brandon Kinney, senior receiver out of Kansas City, showing a nice set of hands on the catch. First down, Nebraska at the Badger 22-yard line. Taylor on the tackle. Kinney led the team last year with 44 catches. He lines up wide left, and Nunwa to the right. Martinez will work under center. Legate the fullback. Burkhead is the tailback. Here's the option left side. Martinez keeps and turns and gets inside the 20 down to about the 19-yard line. Gain of about three for Taylor Martinez. Second down and seven for Nebraska. 7.55 left in the first quarter. No score. The Huskers now in the red zone at the Badger 19-yard line where it's second down and seven. And the officials have stopped play. Have an injured Nebraska yeah. player over on the far sideline, Matt. Yep. For safety purposes, making sure that he That's is ben securely Cotton, away. That's Ben the tight end. Yep. yep. Junior out of Ames, Iowa. Two receivers right, one to the left. As they get caught into a safe area along that Nebraska sideline. Martinez will line up into the pistol. Kenny wide left, two receivers to the right. Here's the snap, and they give to Burkhead inside the 15-yard line and down to the 12. Borland on the stop, very close to a first down. And it looks like maybe a touch short of it. Halfway through quarter number one, Nebraska trying to capitalize on the Wisconsin turnover. Huskers have been very proficient in the red zone this year. 20 of 21. The only time they didn't convert was a kneel down at the end of a game. And of those 20 conversions, 15 were touchdowns. Third down, less than one. Ball just outside the 12-yard line of Wisconsin. High backs, a nunless single wide receiver to the left. As Martinez ducks under his center. Mike Caputo, Legate the fullback. Burke had the tailback. Here's the handoff to Legate the fullback. Ball's not close. And a pile at the 10-yard line, and Nebraska will keep it. A rare carry for Tyler Legate, only his fifth attempt of the year. That was Des Southward who popped it free, but Nebraska is able to pounce, and it's now first and goal for the Cornhuskers inside the Badgers' 10-yard line. Finellis was the closest Badger to that loose ball, didn't turn his head around quick enough to pounce on it. Tyler Reed, the tight end, recovered. We'll call it the nine of Nebraska, or excuse me, of Wisconsin, first and goal. Here's Martinez, fakes the toss, now on the scramble, trying to break off to his left with Paxton in pursuit. Martinez scoots out of bounds at the five-yard line. And there's his speed. As uh, the, I don't know if that was a bust, apparently not, as Martinez trying to flush to his left and was able to get the edge against Claxton and bought himself four yards to the Badger five, where it's second and goal, Nebraska. 6.35 left in the first quarter, no score. A none was single wide receiver to the right. Legate the fullback. Burkhead is the tailback. Martinez under center. Takes the snap. Option left. Turns. Runs it inside the five. Inside the one to the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. Taylor Martinez from five yards away. And for the first time this season, the Badgers are behind. 6 nothing, Nebraska. This is not a defense that's accustomed to giving up rushing touchdowns either, but you really have to get a lot of, give a lot of credit to Martinez and his strength. He was wrapped up before he reached the goal line, but just powered through the tackles to score. Brett Maher, junior at a Kearney, Nebraska, on to attempt the extra point. Brett Bielema talking to one of the officials. He raced all the way down to the line judge, and they're going to review this. Brett wants to challenge it here as uh, Nebraska... Not quite able to uh, line up and kick that extra point. I'll tell you, plays along the goal line can be at times hard to judge, but this was especially scrums in the middle. Now, this wasn't in the middle. This one might be a little bit easier to review as uh, we're going to take a look at it the next opportunity. At the moment, it's 6 nothing Nebraska with 6-19 left in the first quarter. Strong kid, isn't he, Martinez? Very. 6'1", 200 pounds. We, 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 we take a look at the replay here, and Martinez with his knee on the turf, and I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit short. May mark it at the uh, half-yard line there as 
the view that we have, it looked like the right knee of Martinez struck the turf, and it's where the ball is when the knee strikes the turf. And I'm thinking the ball is going to be just inside the one-yard line, so the Badgers are going to still have a chance to uh, come up with a goal line stand. Patrick, what do you have? Well, Aaron Henry came out with that ball on that touchdown ruling. He actually raced out to midfield before looking back in disappointment that they didn't call that a fumble. Yeah, it was not a fumble. Clearly not a fumble. Though. He was over here yeah. pleading his case yeah. with Coach Bielman. I think Coach Bielman yeah. just kind of gave him the shrug. Yep. No, he's not, they're not going to get that. But uh, I, I think Nebraska is short of the end zone. He's very effective, Martinez, even though he's a right-handed throwing quarterback, extremely effective running to his left. Now, normally, a quarterback enjoys or is better or more adept at running right, not Martinez. See whether the touchdown for Taylor Martinez will stand. I'm thinking it won't. Let's find out together. Following the video review, it's been determined the ball was at the half-yard line when the runner's knee was down. Third down at the half-yard line. So there you have it. The voice of referee Bill Lemonnier is it will be third down, goal to go, a half a yard away from the end zone. So we're still scoreless. 6-19 left in the first quarter. Let's see if the Badgers can come up with a little goal line stand here. Looks like they're going to go to Wildcat formation. No. Nope. Martinez under center. Legate the fullback. Rex Burkhead the tailback or the eye back as they call it. Martinez may be checking off at the line. Play clock at 15. Plenty of time. Under his center, Mike Caputo takes the snap, running right, and is into the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. Martinez goes to the right side this time. He's able to bounce into the end zone relatively easily. It's now 6-0 Cornhuskers. Lewis Enzegwell got penetration, but it's pretty tough when you're trying to play option football. He had to keep his eyes on the tailbacks, and Martinez kept and cut inside of Enzegwell. So the Badgers are, in fact, trailing for the first time this season. Brett Maher to attempt the extra point. Cornhuskers capitalize on the Jared Abraderis fumble on the punt return. Extra point in the air. It's a line drive, and it is good, and we have a timeout on the field. Badger fans, American Family Insurance wants you to win 2021 Badger football season tickets. Enter now at amfam.com slash badgers. Rocket drive block? Rush a soul crush? Jam a grand slam? Drunk? Drunk? They'd be insane! Rolling that? Rolling this? Roll together? Drunk? That, that would be super insane. insane. Hey, all you ladies and guys. Drive sober on the road. No matter how many wheels you roll. Cancer is often detected too late. At Exact Sciences, we're working to change lives by helping to detect cancer earlier. Headquartered in Madison, Exact Sciences is growing and needs dedicated, energetic individuals to join our team. You don't have to be a scientist to work at Exact Sciences. We're hiring for our laboratory and customer care teams and have hundreds of job openings for people of all backgrounds and experience levels. Visit exactsciences.com to learn more and join the fight against cancer. Change careers, change lives. Exact Sciences. As we prepare to move forward, stay healthy, appreciate life, be safe, treasure moments, plan well. Aberderis and White, the deep men for Wisconsin. Brett Maher will kick off. Nebraska first on the board tonight. Capitalizing on the Jared Aberderis fumble on the punt return. Kick is in the air, and Abby will have another crack at it. He'll catch at the three between the hash marks to the five. Slanting right 10, cuts back left 15, and is cut down at the 17-yard line. Penalty marker flies. Good kick coverage work. You know, that was, see, that was uh, Graham Stoddard, a reserve linebacker in kick coverage for the Huskers. I thought Wisconsin showed a little anxiety on their first offensive possession. Here's the call. On the return, holding, number 17. After distance to the goal, first down. What I mean by that is they failed to pick up 
the blitz on their first third down conversion attempt, just a complete communi- communication breakdown on the line of scrimmage. And then Pedersen didn't pick up the blitzer on another third down. We'll see now if the nerves have settled down a little bit and they can get into the back into the flow of the game. A.J. Fenton, the guilty party on the penalty. The Badgers now backed up deep in their own territory with some black shirted Nebraska fans on their back. Badgers at their own nine, first and ten. Straight eye formation with Brady Ewing and Monty Ball. So Wilson under center takes the give to Ball over the left side. Not much happening across the 10. Able to shoot forward to about the 11. Alfonso Denner off the corner, helping make the play along with outside linebacker Sean Fisher. Gain of a couple up to the 11-yard line. Second down and eight for Wisconsin. You think that Sports Illustrated article on Wisconsin's offensive line made its way up into the locker room at, in Lincoln? <laughs> I'm thinking so, yeah, as, I think as, so, as well as that USA Today story on, uh, on Russell Wilson. Absolutely. Aberderis tied to the right. Backs offset. Ewing and Ball. Jake Byrne now into the backfield. Inverted wishbone. Here's a little roll to the right. Russell Wilson looking, throwing right side. Caught by Aberderis across the 25-yard line. Thrown out of bounds by Dennard at the 29. That's good. Let's get Jared Aberderis the ball again. I'm sure that's the, uh, the, probably not all the philosophy, but it's a good idea to get it back into his hands, get some confidence back. First down, Wisconsin to the Badger, 29-yard line. Russell Wilson had a double read. He had Monty Ball sprinting into the flat, and then he had Aberderis working on Nebraska's best corner, Alfonso Dennard. 18-yard gain, second catch for Abraderis here tonight. Abby, single wide receiver to the left, eye backs. Brady Ewing and James White. The Badger 29-yard line, first and 10. Wilson, play fake, back to throw, looking, lobbed it out left side. Pedersen in a diving attempt, incomplete. Flag is down. Stoddard on the coverage, and he may have bumped a little early. That was almost a blind toss by Wilson because he had Cameron Meredith in his face. Well, not a lot of contact there, but maybe enough to draw the flag. Damian Stafford, and it will be pass interference against Nebraska. Stafford Jr. of the Norco, California. Well, they lost some really good seniors in their defensive backfield. Three of them are playing in the National Football League. Yeah, and then when you have uh, Dennard missing the first three games, uh, it makes some sense that that black shirt's unit isn't quite what fans down there are used to seeing. First and 10 for the Badgers at their 44-yard line. 4.42 left in the first quarter. 7-0 the Cornhuskers. Turn wide to the right. Abraderis to the left. Monty Ball in it. Running back. Single setback formation. Pedersen wing left. Motions to the right. Wilson takes. Hands to Ball. 45 to the 50-yard line. Nice burst into Cornhuskers territory. Near the 45-yard line. Austin Cassidy, one of the safeties, up to make the tackle. That's another first down run as Wisconsin is in the Nebraska territory at the Cornhuskers 46. Four and a half minutes left in the first quarter. 7-0 Nebraska. And creating that hole on the right side, Kevin Seitler, Josh Oglesby. Ball also got a block from his tight end, Patterson. Aberderis comes out wide to the left. Single wide receiver. Offset eye with Ewing. Monty Ball. From the Nebraska 46. First and 10. Wilson. Play fake, back to throw, under pressure, flushed off to his left, looking, a little juke move, cuts inside, has room, 45-40, 35, slanting left, 30, Wilson to the 25-yard line and out of bounds. He turns a sack into a first down run of 21 yards. Well, that's a tough position to be in if you're Meredith. Cameron Meredith was the first Husker who had a chance at Russell Wilson, and he simply had no chance when he put the deke on him. And then it came down to Labonte David, I believe, in the open field, and Russell Wilson was able to get past him as well. First and 10, Wisconsin at the Nebraska 25-yard line. A little juke move to get by the outside backer there, Sean Fisher, after avoiding the sack. Aberderis wide to the right, tuned to the left. Pedersen wing left. Ball the running back, the hand off the ball over the left side, trying to push the stack, and he is driven down at the 22-yard line in Nebraska territory. Gain of three. 3.23 left in the first quarter, 7-0 Nebraska, but the Badgers are driving. Russell Wilson has been very selective when he has chosen to run this year. Coming in the ballgame through the first four, he had only 16 carries. Averaging nearly seven yards per carry. Ball remains the running back. Aberderis wide to the right, tuned to the left. 
Tight ends will shift. Pedersen wing left covering Jake Byrne from the Nebraska 22-yard line. Tune in motion left to right. Under center is Russell Wilson. Takes the snap. He'll give it the ball. Running left finds the corner. Slips a tackle 20 to the 15-yard line. Taken down by Levante David inside the 12 near the 11-yard line. First down, Wisconsin on a gain of 11. Badgers motion, Nick Toon from left to right, and then came back running left and got some pretty good blocks downfield. Travis Frederick among those blockers. Badgers are now into the Case IH red zone. Case IH wants equipment that's both powerful and efficient. It's only available in red. 235 left first quarter, 7-0 Cornhuskers. First and 10, Wisconsin at the Nebraska 11-yard line. Toon wide to the right. Abraderis to the left. Monty Ball, a single setback. Abraderis in motion left to right. They'll fake the fly sweep. Misdirection toss left side to Ball. Inside the 10. Little stop and go move out of bounds at the 5. Austin Cassidy in on the stop, and they'll mark actually at the 4. Gain of 7. Nice action there. You fake, you fake the fly sweep to the right. A little misdirection toss to the left, and a 7-yard gain. Great blocking downfield again. The lead blocker, Ricky Wagner, what conspired against Wisconsin as they lined up at the left hash, and they ran out of field. They ran it to the short side. Second and four. Make that second and three from the Nebraska four. Straight eye backs, Ewing and Ball. Pedersen wing left, motions right. Wilson takes, hands to Ball, over right guard, driving to the one-yard line, close to the goal line, short of it, but it looks as though he'll have the first down. Sam Arneson now checks into the lineup for Wisconsin. First and goal, Wisconsin. Inside the Nebraska one-yard line with a minute 45 and counting left in the first quarter. Wilson brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Ewing the fullback. Ball the tailback. They go inverted wishbone now. And just inside the Cornhuskers one. Wilson hands to Ball over the left side. He's in. Touchdown, Wisconsin. One-yard run, Monty Ball as the Badgers respond after falling behind for the first time this season. Now can tie it with a Philip Welch extra point. Nice counter punch by Wisconsin's offense. Solid blocking on the left side of the formation. Wagner, Frederick, Cons, and the Badgers also pulled Kevin Zeitler. So there's plenty of people out in front of Monty Ball who went in standing up. Philip Welch with his first place kick of the season. Lines are down, snap is clean, spot kick is in the air, and we are tied in Madison. Register for the virtual Crazy Legs Classic. Get a t-shirt and race bid. Plus the first 2,500. Get a participant medal. Register at crazylegsclassic.com. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Badgers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, Ice cold beverages to wash them down and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Cenex station. Badger Pride, powered locally. Buying your first home is the start of realizing bigger dreams with your family. That's why it's important to protect everything you love with American Family Insurance. Wait, what's that? It's their dream car. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, it's actually my dream car. And my little dream tire swing with some dream trees. There'd be a nice dream garden right here too. Protect your dream home with American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Some see a grilled cheese sandwich and ask why. I see a new kitchen with a grill and ask why not. I really need to start adding less to cart and more to savings. Sitting on this couch so long made me want to make some changes, starting with this couch. Yeah, I need a house with a different view. And this is the bank that will help you do it all. Because at US Bank, our people are dedicated to turning your new inspiration into your next pursuit. Deep men, Tim Marlowe and Amir Abdullah. Rula has returned one kick off 100 yards for a score this season. Alec Lerner will kick off. He's out of Omaha, Nebraska. Kick is in the air, an opportunity for Abdullah. He'll catch at the 11 between the hash marks to the 15 to the 20. Abdullah to the 25-yard line and brought down across the 25 up to the 26-yard line. Driven to the turf by Tyler Dipple and company in kick coverage for Wisconsin. I think we're going to see a lot of ebb and flow tonight. What do you think? Yeah, that old pendulum as you it just relate about Barry Alvarez. One way came right yeah. back, did it not? <laughs> it did. <laughs> the 
It's a long game, boys. Pendulum's going to swing. So Barry would give that speech over and over, waving those, waving that arm, left, right, left, right. Taylor Martinez under center, legate the fullback. Burke had the eye back movement up front, pre-snap movement right side of the Nebraska offensive line. Tyler Moore. Barker's fly. He's the he's the true freshman playing right tackle, and he didn't get the start tonight. And I thought maybe they didn't start him because of the noise factor, yeah. and they went with the senior. Yeah, he was a, a January enrollee at Nebraska, the start of the opener, the first true freshman offensive lineman to start a season opener in school history. He just got pulled, too. Yeah, he did. Marcel Jones, the senior, now playing right tackle. First and 15. Huskers are on 21. Option left. Martinez will keep it, turn it, and get kissed at the 22 or 23-yard line. It was Kevin Claxton leading the charge there on the Badger defensive front seven. Martinez for a couple up across the 23-yard line. Second down and a little less than 13 to go. With an option quarterback, you want to make him pay for every time he carries the football. 55 seconds in counting. Left first quarter tied at seven. Second down, here's a toss right side. It's Amir Abdullah finding the corner. 25 to the 30, penalty marker down. This may come back. Abdullah brought down to the 34-yard line. Marcel Jones, the hold on Lewis and Zegwu. Yep, yep, he was reaching out with that big left paw and grabbed in Zegwu. Marcel Jones, the senior out of Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, his penalty will set Nebraska back. Here, Abdullah, true freshman out of Homewood, Alabama. Scares me to scoot. death. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he can speed. scoot. Holy cow. Behind the veteran running back, Matt Burkhead, who's a junior, they've got three freshman backs. One did not make the trip, Raylan Hurd, but they're stocked well at the tailback rotation. Yeah, they really are. For the 15 of Nebraska, it is now second down and a lot. They need the 36. Second and 21. Trips to the left. Pistol formation with Burkhead behind Martinez. They clock at 12. He has plenty of time. Marking out the play call to his offensive lineman. And sets up five yards behind the center. Takes the snap. Martinez back to throw. Looking. He's at left side. Has a none will open. Makes the catch across the 40-yard line. Southward on the tackle as Quincy Anunwa open down the left side, and he'll catch and be brought down at the 44 of Nebraska, and a first down for the Huskers and a gain of 29. It looked to me like the Badgers had trouble lining up. They did. They get right back to the line of scrimmage. Toss right side to Rex Burkhead. Turns it up to the 45, crawling his way up to the 48 or 49-yard line. Good extra effort from Rex Burkhead. Antonio Finellis on the tackle, and that'll be the final play of the first quarter, a five-yard run. Huskers at their own 49 second and five as we move to the second quarter in Madison. Badger fans, your team is always working to perform at their highest level, even with the physical stress throughout the season. This is made possible with on-site treatment and recovery, courtesy of the Mueller Sports Medicine Recovery Tent. Mueller Sports Medicine is a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Built in sports, made for life. Mueller. Hard work, sweat, knowledge in your own two hands. These are the tools that build Wisconsin. Leave your mark on the real world with zero debt and higher pay. All from day one. It's time to do work that works for you. Learn more at buildingwisconsintogether.com. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet on the sunny side, the sunny side of the street. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from, and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk, and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I Odyssey. 
Double wide to the left. Pistol formation. Second and five Huskers. 49-yard line, and Martinez fakes the handoff to Burkhead, breaks off to his left of the 45-yard line into Wisconsin territory, down to the 40, Aaron Henry on the stop. That's an 11-yard gain, first down Huskers. Let's let's not pause yet. Looks like Nebraska's going to get right back to it. The OR station's an ID, but the Huskers go in no huddle, which they will do from time to time, picking up the tempo. First and 10, Nebraska at the Wisconsin 40-yard line. Double wide to the right, pistol formation. Burkhead lines up behind Martinez. Kyler Reed, the tight end, comes out wide to the left. On first down, Martinez looks to throw, fires the slant, right side, caught, and that's Kenny Bell. Brought down by Finellis near the 30 of Wisconsin, just shy of it. Second down and short for Nebraska. Opening minutes, second quarter, tied at seven. Huskers back on the move and uh, going into the no huddle. Huskers have a new offensive coordinator this year. His name is Tim Beck. has been on the staff, though, for the last three years. Wide receivers, either side of the formation. Toss right side for Burkhead. Trying to cut it back. Slips one tackle. Gets his first down to the 29-yard line. Now let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. 10 for an ID. You're listening to Wisconsin Football. Brendan Kelly on that last stop. First and 10, Nebraska at the Badger 29-yard line. A minute 10 gone by, second quarter, tied at 7. Huskers back on the move. The 29 of Wisconsin, pistol formation again. Play fake, Martinez looking, throwing down the middle. Wide open, Ben Cotton at the 15, to the 10, to the 5, and cut down inside the 5 at the 1-yard line. Ben Cotton, the junior tight end out of Ames, Iowa. He was wide open over the middle. And cut down by Finellis, one yard short of the end zone. Kelly tried to reroute him and actually did, but no one picked him up at the second level. That's why he was so open. Now the Badgers trying to get bodies onto the field. Bo Allen in, Cromarty out. Martinez operates under center. Legate the fullback. Burkhead the tailback. Brandon Kinney, single wide receiver to the left. Here's Martinez trying to run right. Met by Buttram, who keeps him out of the end zone. Patrick Buttram able to get his arms around the Nebraska quarterback. Second and goal from inside the one. Pretty tough to guess where they might be targeting the point of attack with a quarterback who's comfortable running either or, right or left. Second and goal. Again, Kenny, the single wide receiver to the left. Martinez back under center. Straight eye formation with Legates and Rex Burkhead. Martinez tossed to Burkhead over the right side, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. The Cornhuskers regain the lead. They go to Burkhead. He was able to beat Mike Taylor to the end zone. Taylor trying to dive and stop him short. Couldn't do it. 13-7, Nebraska. On the toss, Burkhead followed the block thrown by his right pulling guard Spencer Long, 61, got into the end zone. Brett Maher on for the extra point. And the officials step in. Let's... Alright, this is an officials review, I believe. On first view, there didn't seem to be a whole lot of questions. Nebraska's done a pretty good job so far neutralizing this big crowd with its offense. It has. Well, the first touchdown was a short drive off the Wisconsin turnover, but this drive, if the call stands, would be a 74-yard march that took 10 plays. Taking a look here at the replay. There's a, well, there doesn't, doesn't seem to be a lot of issue here. But. The play has been yep. He is in, and Maher will attempt the extra point. The Badgers had the answer offensively after Nebraska's first score. We'll see if Russell Wilson and company can respond again. Here's the snap. Maher's kick is in the air, and it is good. We will step out. 12.45 left of the first half. Nebraska 14, Wisconsin 7. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation reminds you to always drive sober. Zero in Wisconsin. Together, we can save lives. Get the Drive Sober app today. 
We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. Hey, Badger fans, Mats and Matt for Brew Pub Lots and Mats of Pizzas. Absolutely love these Dream Season Badger games from back in the day. Hey, speaking of back in the day, remember when frozen pizzas were like a piece of cardboard laden with a flavorless sauce, topped with ingredients you'd reach after five bites, then sparsely decorated with cheese? Well, not anymore. Brew Pub Lots and Mats of Pizzas came along and were a game changer. A crispy, thin cracker crust topped with a bold sauce, loaded with quality meat and veggie toppings, then bombarded with over half a pound of award-winning mozzarella cheese. Brew Pub Pizzas, the perfect pizza no matter the season. White and Aberderis are deep. Maher with the kick, and it's in the air. White will have a chance. He'll catch right side at the 3 to the 5 between the hash marks 10. White the 15-yard line, cuts to his left of the 20, and covered up at the 23-yard line in Wisconsin territory. The Badgers have a 1st and 10. Courtney Osborne in kick coverage for Nebraska. Man, I've always felt special teams, especially kick cover units, are pretty good barometer or measuring stick and how much speed you have on your roster. Nebraska really flying downfield. Yeah, they have a lot of it. The Cornhuskers do. Badgers at their 23, first and 10. Going left to right as we see it, north to south at Camp Randall. Jared Abraderis comes out to the left. Nick Toon, tight right. Now they will flex Pedersen, wing to the right. On first down, Wilson. Play fake, rolls right, throws deep. Nick Toon, right side, reaches up. It is caught by Toon inside the 40 as he somehow grabbed it between two Nebraska defenders. A spectacular catch by Nick Toon. And he actually took it away, it almost seemed like. Levante David downfield, the linebacker, along with Siante Evans, trying to sandwich Toon, and Evans is still down on the turf. Yep, Siante Evans on his right knee as it looked like Nebraska had a chance for a pick or an interception, but Toon was able to snap it away 38 yards on the pitch and catch. First down, Wisconsin at the Nebraska 39-yard line. Man, oh, man, can that linebacker, David, run? Number four for Nebraska. He was back in pass coverage, and it appeared that he might get his hands up on the ball. Now, Russell Wilson's strength is rolling to his right and still being accurate as a thrower, and that's what happened on that play. And actually, it was Stafford back with him, the safety, Mike, not not Evans on that on that last play. Number three, Damian Stafford there with Toon. But you're right, Levante David can run. In fact, when talking with Brett Bielema, he said not only can he run, but he's mean. And he said that as a compliment when when... David gets to his target. He knows what to do when he gets there. Evans able to walk off on his own, but he is out for the moment. It's hard to believe that Toon was able to catch that ball with all the interference in front of him. First and 10 now at the Nebraska 39. Aberderis wide to the left, Toon to the right. James White, the running back. Jacob Pedersen, wing left, covering Jake Byrne. Here's the handoff. James White trying to reverse direction. He'll jump cut right to left, and he'll punch his way to about the 36 of Nebraska. Gain of about three for White. Over the last couple of games, White's been a little bit more effective than Monty Ball. He rushed for 95 yards last week and had 91 against Northern Illinois, averaging now uh, about 6.7 yards per carry. Second and seven, Wisconsin at the Huskers 36. 11.48 left in the half. Nebraska leading 14-7. to seven. Wilson in the shotgun now with White to his right. Two receivers to the right. One to the left, tune slot right, motions left. Wilson calls for the ball in the shotgun, takes the snap, looks the throw, fires left side, Abraderis catching 30, 25 yard line, and yanked down near the 20 in Nebraska territory. Andrew Green on the tackle. They'll mark at the 22 of the Cornhuskers. First down, Wisconsin. Well, the key to that play is Abraderis has to fight through 
Green on his second step. He has to get leverage on the deep defensive back, and he was able to get inside for the catch. Catch number three tonight for Jared Abraderis. Good for 14 yards on that play. Vanessa Garner wide to the left. Abraderis wide to the right. Toon slot to the right. Wilson back in the gun. James White to the right of the quarterback. From the Huskers 22-yard line, first and 10, Wisconsin. Wilson takes the snap. Watch the throw. Looking, sets. Now flush. He'll run. Cuts left. Has room. 20. Wilson, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Penalty marker at the line of scrimmage. Hang on. Little conference here. We'll see if the touchdown stands or not. Here's the call. Ricky Wagner. It will not. Ricky Wagner holding. Takes away the touchdown here. 10.54 left in the half. Here's the call from Bill Lemonia. Holding. Offense. Number 58. 10-yard penalty. First out. For the second Wisconsin penalty here tonight. Points sure, off the board. He sure still looked good on that run, did he not? Sure did. Ball at the 32 of Nebraska. It's now first and 20. 10-54, left in the half. Huskers up seven. Badgers threatening again. Frustrating part of that for the coach is that Ricky Wagner was nowhere close to, to Wilson. He was not a factor in Wilson's run. Yep. Working against Cameron Meredith there, but he was tugging the jersey. Back into the shotgun, two receivers right, one left. Wilson back to throw, four-man rush. Russell fires deep middle. Patterson the catch inside the 10 and down to the 5. Oh, he had to reach up for it, and he nabbed it. Lance Thorell on the tackle. First down, goal to go at the Huskers' four-yard line. Badgers back into the Case IH red zone. Matt, one of the adjustments that Nebraska has to make defensively coming into the Big Ten is covering tight ends because they don't cover many tight ends in the Big 12. They don't play with tight ends in that conference. 28 yards on the pitch and catch. Wilson to Pedersen. Whites and Ewing, straight eye formation. Wilson under center. Pedersen wing left, motions to the right. Hand off James White over the right side. Down to the three, and that's it. Jared Crick. Getting in there defensively. Second and goal from the Huskers three. Well, Cricket started 31 straight games for the Huskers before getting dinged at the end of a ball game. Missed last week. You could see how valuable he is to that core defense for Nebraska. All-America caliber player. Nine and a half sacks for Crick a year ago. Ewing the fullback. Monty Ball back in a tailback. Pedersen wing on the right side. Motions to the left. Second and goal from the Nebraska three-yard line. Hand off ball over the left side. Cuts it back up. He's in. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Monty Ball strikes again. Second touchdown rushing tonight for Ball. His 11th rushing score of the season. Badgers back within one and a chance to tie. Badgers motion. Pedersen to the left of the formation. It's a power running play with Brady Ewing leading interference upfield and Zeitler pulling from right guard to help block for Monty Ball. Philip Welch for the extra point. Kyle White is snaps. Brad Nortman is the holder. Snap is clean. Spot kick is blocked. And it's out of there by Green. He's going to run it out. Goal line to the 5. He's to the 10. If he brings it back, it's two points across the 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Down the right sideline. And Philip Welch may have saved a couple of points. Brings down the runner at the 35 of Wisconsin. That was Andrew Green, I believe, on that return on the blocked extra point. I thought it or was Deontay Evans, perhaps. I thought it was Cameron Meredith, number 34, who got the ball, who deflected the extra point attempt. So we'll Nebraska, see. Nebraska keeps the lead, and we have a timeout on the field. We've missed you. Wisconsin football season tickets are now available. For details, visit uwbadgers.com. As a Wisconsin Badgers football fan, you probably know a thing or two about consistent, top-quality performance. Hi, I'm Gary Leeper, General Manager at Dairyland Seed. And for over 110 years, we've been delivering nothing but the industry's best seed designed to deliver higher yields and unmatched quality to farmers in all environments and conditions. So just as you can bet on Bucky dominating the ground game, you can count on Dairyland Seed to be your most valuable partner each and every season. Dairyland Seed, proud sponsor of Wisconsin football and Wisconsin farmers. On this game day, Good Foods Guacamole would like to salute all you players. No matter what you seem to be playing, you, sir, are a winner. You, ma'am, triumphant, and thumbs up to whatever it is you're doing. 
So let's hoist a guac-laden chip to all you players out there. Good Foods Guac, made from the freshest avocado and the cleanest ingredients. So here's to all the players and whatever game it is they're trying to play. Game day is guac day. Good Foods Guac. Because of this, we made Ford Super Duty the most capable heavy-duty pickup ever. Because of this, we built Ford F-150 with 375 horsepower and best-in-class payload. Because of this, we built Ford Ranger with the terrain management system. And because Ford trucks are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. Again, wind, no factor. This crisp, cool evening in Madison. Kick in the air. It'll be Abdullah. Left side at the 6 to the 10, cutting to the middle of the field. 15-yard line, slips a tackle 20, 25 to the 30-yard line. And take it down just across the 30, and Nebraska begins there. Let's throw it back downstairs to Patrick. Matt, we talked in the Badger Notebook about Russell Wilson playing well in big games in the past. And the first display that I saw of that, other than the touchdown drives that he's led, was after that touchdown that the Badgers scored. The sideline erupted, and they were running on the field to congratulate guys, and Russell Wilson was the one that was corralling everybody back on the sidelines, saying, get back, get back, we got work to do. Like the veteran he is, keeping it all business. From the 31 of Nebraska, first and 10. Trips to the left, pistol formation. It's Burkhead, lines up behind Taylor Martinez. 9.40 left in the half, 14-13, Nebraska. There's option right, toss to Burkhead across the 30, penalty marker down, Burkhead across the 35, and... Pulled down at about the 37-yard line. That's a really challenging play for the right tackle for Nebraska. Marcel Jones has to get out and try to block a smaller man on the perimeter. The illegal formation there against Nebraska. Two receivers left, two receivers right. Pistol formation. First and 15 for the Huskers. They're on 26. Martinez back to throw. Looking. Sacks. Tries to run. He is sacked inside the market about the 25-yard line. Bo Allen with the sack. And 26 of Nebraska. Second and 16. Trips to the left again. Pistol formation again with Burkhead behind Martinez. Takes the snap. Back to throw. Looking. Winds up. Pumps. Pressured. Down he goes again. Just inside the 25, Jordan Cahoots involved defensively for the Badgers. Matt, on each of these last two passes, Wisconsin's come with four-man pressure, but what's really stood out is the discipline of the inside techniques, Allen and Cahoots staying in their pass-rushing lanes. Wholesale subs on the Badger defensive line. Out there now, Kelly, Buttram, and Nzegwu. Third down and 16 for the Cornhuskers from their own 25-yard line. Three receivers left, one on the right. Eight minutes left in the half. Nebraska leads 14 to 13. Play clock is at three, two, one. Hits zero. They snap it just in time. Martinez to throw. One pump, dumps it off. Burkhead catches at the 30-yard line. Cuts outside to his left. Still up to the 35 and steered out of bounds at the 35-yard line of the near side. And that's well short for the first down, six yards shy, and the punting team is on for the Cornhuskers. We'll say this about Burkett. He doesn't go down on initial contact, does he? He does not. He's a very, very good player. Jared Aberdeer is deep for the Badgers at the Wisconsin 20-yard line. The defense gets a stop. Brett Maher will punt. Line of scrimmage, the Cornhuskers 35. Snap clean, pressure moderate, kick is in the air. Abraderis running up on it. Now he will make the catch, but the ball went out of bounds across the 25 of the near side in Wisconsin territory. They will mark at the 26. Hey there, Badgers. Good Foods Guacamole would like to celebrate all you fans. So let's hoist a guac-laden chip to the Badgers because game day is guac day. Visit goodfoods.com to learn more and be sure to like on Facebook and follow on Instagram at Good Foods. In these challenging, uncertain, uncharted times, you stand strong. No matter the conditions you face, you get the job done. You are the backbone of our communities. Sleek.
innovative, efficient. If it looks like next-gen technology, that's because it is. Introducing new Infinity products with green speed intelligence from Carrier. They deliver leading efficiency and can even receive over-the-air updates, just like your smartphone. Now you can keep your heating and cooling software up to date for enhanced performance. It's space-age innovation, all designed for your space. Carrier, turn to the experts. Rocket drive block? Rush a soul crush? Jam a grand slam? Drunk? Drunk? That'd be insane! Roll in that? Roll in this? Roll together? Drunk? That, that would be super insane. insane. Hey, all you ladies and guys. Drive sober on the road. No matter how many wheels you roll. Badgers at their own 26, first and 10. A couple of times the Badgers on defense have had trouble communicating their signals because of the crowd noise. Russell Wilson brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. James White is the running back. Nick Toon wide right. Jared Aberderis wide to the left. Wilson takes the snap, gives it to White, running left behind the pulling center, Peter Cons. White trying to turn it back up, but gets nowhere. Good work defensively by the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Will Compton, Mike Linebacker, among others. And that play will actually lose a yard to the 25 of Wisconsin, second down and 11. Cameron Meredith and Austin Cassidy in the play as well defensively. Meredith the DN, Cassidy is safety. Meredith showed up a lot tonight around yeah, the football. Good player. Brett Bielema talking about him this week. Crickets a lot of run, and rightfully so. This is Meredith is very good as well. Ball back in at running back tune. Wide to the left. Motions to the right for the Badger. 25, second and 11. Wilson little roll to the right. Throws it right side. Rolling catch made by Nick Toon at the 29-yard line. Alfonso Dennard on the coverage. That'll be the second catch of the game for Toon, who now in his career is one behind his father. 130 catches for Nick. Al had 131. And whenever he catches the ball on Dennard, he will have earned it. Third down and seven for the Badgers for their own 29. 620 left in a half. 14-13 Nebraska. Wilson not liking something here as he takes a timeout. This will be the first charged timeout of the half for the Badgers. You don't have to be a scientist to work at Exact Sciences. Visit ExactSciences.com to view the company's hundreds of open jobs and join the fight against cancer. Buying your first home is the start of realizing bigger dreams with your family. That's why it's important to protect everything you love with American Family Insurance. Wait, what's that? It's their dream car. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, it's actually my dream car. And my little dream tire swing with some dream trees. There'd be a nice dream garden right here too. Protect your dream home with American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Here in the Midwest, community is important. Having a healthcare system that's looking out for us. That's actively addressing the racial disparities in healthcare is important. When we can get good quality care, we can do more. We can achieve more. We can be the kind of community we want to be, and that's really important. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. On this game day, Good Foods Guacamole would like to salute all you players. No matter what you seem to be playing, you, sir, are a winner. You, ma'am, triumphant. And thumbs up to whatever it is you're doing. So let's hoist a guac-laden chip to all you players out there. Good Foods Guac, made from the freshest avocado and the cleanest ingredients. So here's to all the players and whatever game it is they're trying to play. Game day is guac day. Good Foods Guac. And here we go. Third and seven for the Badgers, just across their 29. Abraveris wide left, Toon slot left. Vanessa Garner wide to the right. Wilson in the shotgun, Monty Ball to his left. Wilson calls for the ball as he surveys the Nebraska defense. Takes the snap, back to throw, pressure coming, slips away, darts to his left, ran out of room, sacked inside the 25-yard line. Levante David getting to the quarterback. Well, Russell made a one or two Huskers miss, but much he could do is Levante David able to disengage from Ricky Wagner and get to the quarterback. They brought seven. Wisconsin was outnumbered on the line of scrimmage. Seven rushers. Mark of the 23 of Wisconsin. Twin safeties 
for the Cornhuskers. Abdullah and Marlowe snap a little high, but fielded easily by Brad Nortman. Kick is in the air, and Abdullah will give way to Marlowe, catching at the 36-yard line, cutting across the 40, 45, and brought down at the 47-yard line. Crystal formation. Burkhead behind Martinez, and a handoff to Burkhead, running right, going nowhere. Nabbed behind the line of scrimmage by linebacker Mike Taylor. Loss of one to the 46 of Nebraska's second and 11. Nebraska Taylor just whipped the block attempt on the line of scrimmage, showing good quickness and reading ability to know where that ball was. Oscar's going no huddle. Kenny wide to the left, and none was slot to the left. Crystal formation again. Martinez, play fake, back to throw, looking, has time, dancing around, dumped it off right side, bobbled and dropped at the 50 by Ben Cotton. Chris Borland in the vicinity. The ball falls to the turf, incomplete pass, third and 11 for the Cornhuskers from their own 46. Exactly five minutes left in the half, 14-13 Nebraska. Martinez here in the second quarter has looked a little bit unsure of himself when he's dropped back and hung in the pocket. Getting a little bit more heat maybe on. Trips to the left. Pistol formation. Third and 11, Nebraska. Penalty markers fly. It looks like pre-snap movement again. It is on Nebraska. Make it third and 16. That's penalty number five of this first half on Nebraska. Kyler Reed, the tight end, was a yard downfield. The ball hadn't been snapped. Nebraska at its own 41-yard line, third and 16. Kenny wide to the right. Quincy Anunwa wide to the left. Burkhead behind Martinez in the pistol formation. Play clock is at 12, plenty of time for Martinez. As your linebackers creep up, drop back. Back to throw, Martinez looking, sets, dances off to his right, throws it, picked off by Mike Taylor near midfield and brought down at the Badger 47-yard line. Rex Burkhead on the tackle as Mike Taylor intercepts Taylor Martinez. And the Badger offense has a great opportunity. Well, obviously, Martinez never saw Mike Taylor, and he's looked really uncomfortable in the face of the Badgers' pressure. And it's four-man pressure once again with Borland lining upside and coming off the edge. Both defenses really rising up here in the last few minutes. Badgers at their own 46, first and 10. 4.52 4.52 left in the half, a one-point Nebraska lead at 14-13. to Bonnie Ball, the single setback. Nick Toon wide to the left. Jared Aberderis wide to the right corners, up close to the Badger wide receivers. Wilson under center, takes the snap, play fake, back to throw, looking. Now he's pressured, little circle route, gets away from Stein Cooler. Wilson at the 35, cutting left to the 40. Now another circle route, and he lobs it off for Patterson, a diving catch across midfield. And that's about as active a five- or six-yard gain as you'll ever see. Just ended in Nebraska territory inside the 49-yard line. We haven't seen too many occasions where Wilson has been forced to scramble a la Fran Tarkenton in the backfield, (laughs) but that was the case there, was it not? That's what he did. Gain of five. Second and five just inside the Huskers' 49-yard line. And email me if you've never heard of Fran Tarkenton, (laughs) and I'll explain. Makes us feel old, huh? Toon slot right, Aberderis wide to the right, ball the running back, Wilson under his center, Peter Cons. Pedersen wing left, motions right. Wilson drops to throw, looking, little roll to the right, one pump, in trouble, and he'll chuck it for Aberderis, and it's well over his head, out of bounds of the 30-yard line. Seontay Ever- Seonte Evans on the coverage. Third down and five, Wisconsin at the Nebraska 49 with 3.54 left in the half. Cornhuskers lead 14 to 13. You wonder if Nebraska defensive coordinator Carl Polino is going to dial up that blitz again. Badgers have had trouble handling when they bring seven. With a linebacker the, with the speed of David, you would think that when they send him at least. Vanessa Garner wide to the left, Toon and Abraderis to the right, Wilson in the shotgun with Monty Ball to his left from the Nebraska 49-yard line, third and five. Wilson wants to throw on the slant, and that is caught by Nick Toon. First down, Wisconsin to the 43 of Nebraska. Career catch 131 for Nick Toon. He's tied as five. 
And more importantly, at the moment, it's a first down catch at the 43 of the Cornhuskers. Wasn't that a beautiful route run by Nick Toon? Got inside of the defensive back, Siani Evans, to make that catch. Nick out for this play. Vanessa Garner and Jared Abraderis double wide to the right. Offset eye, Ewing and ball. Wilson under his center, Peter Kahn's. On first down, they hand off the ball to the right side, has some space to the 40-yard line, cutting to his right, rolled to the turf at the 37 of Nebraska. Big Josh Williams, 260-pound defensive lineman, junior out of Denton, Texas on the stop. They mark inside the 38 of Nebraska, gain of five, second and five. Tune back in. 308 left in the half, 14-13 Nebraska. Badgers back on the move, second and five from the Cornhuskers, 38. Tune wide right, checked by Evans. Abraderis wide left, he's with Denner. Body ball, single setback. Pedersen wing left, motions to the right. Wilson takes the snap. He'll give it the ball over the right side. Ball fighting his way to about the 25. Make that the uh, near the 35. They'll mark at the 36. Levante David, the linebacker on the stop, and the Badgers have a third and three at the Cornhuskers 36. I gave David too much credit for speed that, and on play, he wasn't involved with earlier, but he can run. He led the Big 12 last year with 152 tackles, which is unheard of in this day and era. You just don't get that many chances to tackle. To be honest, if they would have asked him the dropping coverage on that play you were talking about, he'd have got there. He runs that well. Offset eye for the Ewing and Monty Ball. Aberderis tight left. They'll fake the toss. Wilson rolling right, looking, throwing right side. Aberderis and a diving catch. Touchdown, Wisconsin! Jared Abraderis lays out, pulls it in. Badgers take the lead. Well, Matt, Nebraska did a really solid job on preventing Russell Wilson from completing his rollout. So what did Wilson do? He stopped and with that quick release got the ball to Abraderis, who had beaten the safety, Damian Stafford, and made a great catch on his end of it. 36 yards on the catch. They will review it. I hesitated on the call. The question was whether Abby was able to break the plane of the goal line before the knees struck the turf. But at worst, it'll be first and goal. Big time catch by Abraderos, his fourth catch of the game. And that's where the defensive scheme was solid. What Nebraska was able to do was force Russell Wilson to pull up before he could complete his rollout. He pulls up and then makes the throw. Just the flick of the wrist, he's got the coverage he wants, one-on-one with Abraderis, and we'll find out together, I guess, if it was a completed catch. Beautiful play. Patrick, on live look, you said it looked pretty good? Yeah, I'm right down here on the goal line, and and looking at it live, it looked like when he caught the ball and his knees were coming down, that the tip of that ball was right on the goal line. It's close. Just saw one replay in zone look. Looked very, very close. At worst, it'll be inside the one. How effortless was that throw by Wilson? Yeah. As far as it traveled, again, he has to pull up because he's facing pressure in his face, and he just flicked the ball. It has to be indisputable video evidence. I'm thinking it might be short, though. Here's a call. This call. Touchdown. It wasn't indisputable. Patrick was right. And the Badgers have the lead on a terrific catch by Jared Abraderis. Badgers will kick for the extra point here, not chasing points. They lead 19-14, to 14, trying to make this a six-point game. Last attempt by Welch was blocked. He'll try it again. Kick is in the air, and the kick is good. Six-point Wisconsin lead. We'll step out. 2.03 left in the half. Wisconsin 20, Nebraska 14. Back in one minute. This is Badger Football from Learfield Sports. Craving news on Wisconsin spring football? Stay tuned at halftime for an exclusive spring football report and the latest news from Wisconsin Athletics. Rocket drive block? Rush a pole crush? Jam a grand slam? Drunk? Drunk? That'd be insane! Rolling that? Rolling this? Roll together? Drunk? That That would be super insane. insane. Hey all you ladies and guys, drive sober on the road. No matter how many wheels you roll. Wherever you are, Whatever you're doing, 
whenever you want. In your life and on your farm, Case IH AFS Connect gives you more control. Monitor your operation, manage your fleet and your farm data your way. Case IH, rethink productivity. Russell Wilson, 36 yard toss to Jared Abraderis. 2.03 left in the half, Wisconsin 20, Nebraska 14. On that series, Wilson was three of four for 37 yards. Tonight in the first half, Wilson is nine of 11 for 170 yards. And his streak is alive, another touchdown pass, which brings it to what, 29 straight games with at least one touchdown throw. Abdullah and Marlowe deep for Nebraska. Kick is in the air. It'll be Amir Abdullah at the four. He's to the 10 between the hash marks 15 to the 20 yard line and stops short of the 25. Good kick coverage work. Adam Hampton among the Badgers on the charge. Both teams have two timeouts. We have 159 left in the half. Badgers leading 20 to 14. Ball at the Huskers 24 yard line. First time tonight, Wisconsin has been in the lead. Brandon Kinney will come out. Well, actually, they'll shift him wide to the left. Four receivers, two either way. Pistol formation with Burkhead behind Martinez. Martinez takes the snap. He wants the throw, lets it fly right side, incomplete at the 30-yard line of the far side. Quincy Anunwa, the intended receiver. And on the coverage was Finellis along with Ethan Armstrong. Inside linebacker Armstrong, second and 10 Huskers, they're on 24. 154 left in the first half. Two receivers left, one to the right. Pistol look again for the Cornhuskers offense. Martinez back to throw, looking left, throwing left, has his man. Quincy Anuma breaks a tackle, 45, that's Turner rather, to the 50 yard line and down he goes. Jamal Turner, with the catch, and a Badger is down, shaken up. It's Des Southward. They are thin at the position, that strong safety position. Remember, Shelton Johnson is unavailable. That Shel was one of the better throws tonight by Martinez. And Southward pops up, and he looks mad at himself more than anything. He'll come out for a play. 28 yards, Martinez to Jamal Turner. Huskers have it at midfield with 145 left in the half. 20 to 14, Wisconsin. Danielle Jean and Marcus Cromarty on that last stop. Two receivers right, one to the left. Martinez again to throw. Four man rush under pressure, rolls right, throws right. Caught by Kinney at the 45 yard line, and Fanellas forces him out. And they'll actually mark at the 47-yard line in Badger territory at the far side, gain of three. How many times would you estimate you've made the call on Josh Pepra? <laughs> not, not, a, not a whole lot, but he's the strong safety with Aaron Henry. 134 left in the half, six-point Badger lead, second and seven for the Cornhuskers at the Wisconsin 47-yard line. The clock is at eight. Martinez barks out the signals. Play clock at three. Here's the snap. Martinez back to throw. Has time. He's at right side for Kinney, and it buzzes past him incomplete at the 25-yard line of the far side. Third and seven. Nebraska at the Wisconsin 47-yard line. Finellis on the coverage defensively on that last play for Wisconsin. Derek Landish, true freshman, checks into the lineup for Wisconsin. Four receivers, two either way. Third and seven from the Wisconsin 47-yard line. Martinez back to throw, has time, fires left side, picked off Aaron Henry at the 30-yard line. Spin move, fights his way to the 35, and there's bang down at the 37-yard line as Martinez uncorks his second interception of the quarter. And, Matt, there was absolutely no pressure on Martinez. That's just a lousy throw. He, he tried to get it to a covered receiver, Turner. There were two Badgers in the vicinity, and Henry was more wide open than anybody else. Yeah, you're right. 118 left in the half. Badgers have two timeouts available. First and 10, Wisconsin 
at its own 37-yard line. Well, the Badgers with an opportunity here. Abraderis wide left, Toon slot left. Vanessa Garner tight right, Wilson in the shotgun. James White to his left. Wilson takes the snap, back the throw, looking, dumps it off. White catches, turns it up 35, 40, 45, scoots out of bounds. Short of the first down, but it gets out of bounds to the 45 of the near side. Throw it back downstairs. Patrick, you brought up uh, a little earlier that, that two-minute drill against South Dakota, trying to see if they can recreate it here. Yeah, and a blowout win. We talked about teaching points for the Badgers, and they were able to use timeouts on defense to get the ball back late in the first half to practice a situation just like this. A two-minute drive in a big game. Second down and two for the Badger 45-yard line. 112 left in the half. Badgers with the ball and a six-point lead. Wilson from the gun takes the snap. Has time. Looking, looking, still looking. Shoots it right side, and it's incomplete. Wide of the target. The target being James White out of the backfield at the 45-yard line of the near side in Nebraska territory. Badgers with a third and two at their 45 with 105 left in the half. Good quarterbacks like Wilson have a silent count in their head, and they know at what point they better release the football, even if it's an incomplete pass. Third and two for the Badgers, 45. They lead it 20-14 to 14, late in the first half. Two receivers left. Nick Toon wide to the right. Wilson back in the shotgun. James White to his right. Huskers showing blitz. Wilson, little shovel pass. White catches to the 50-yard line. Brought down in Nebraska territory. Jared Crick saved that from being an even bigger play. First down, Wisconsin at the Huskers. 46, one minute left to the half clock. Stops to move the uh, chain. Perfect play to counter the blitz with eight players make that seven Nebraska defenders on the line of scrimmage. Vanessa Garner wide to the left. Aberderis wide to the right. Toon slot right. Clock running. 50 seconds left in the half. Wilson in the gun. White to his left. Wilson back to throw. Has time. Looking. Rolls off to his right. Looking. Looking. He'll throw it away. He's being pressured. And Wilson uncorks one out of bounds. Eric Martin. Providing a little heat on Wilson, Martin, the defensive lineman. 39 seconds left in the half. Second and 10, Wisconsin at the Cornhuskers 46 yard line. 20 to 14, Wisconsin. Badgers looking to capitalize on another Nebraska turnover. Wilson knows that he can't afford to take a sack. We've seen two examples on this series alone where he's more than willing to throw the ball out of bounds and come back, tee it up again. Garner wide to the left. Abraderis wide to the right. Toon slot right. Monty Ball back in at running back. Lines up to the right of Russell Wilson in the shotgun formation. Wilson takes the snap. Huskers rush four. Wilson one pump looking. Fires deep. Nick Toon got it. Ten. Five. Touchdown Wisconsin. Wilson to Toon. And it's 26-14 Wisconsin. Nebraska with four-man pressure. Nick Toon running the post. Beautiful throw by Wilson to Toon, who just got separation in the last three yards of that route and cleared the defense. Career catch number 132 for Nick Toon. He moves ahead of his father and does so in grand style. Philip Welch, the extra point in the air, and it is good. 32 seconds left till halftime. Wisconsin 27 Nebraska 14, we'll keep it here. Some of the breakdowns that have hurt Nebraska in the secondary this year against lesser opponents come to roost here on this series as well with Nick Toon able to beat the coverage on the defense. As Scott Nelson, a former safety, just told me that the safety really didn't do his job on the play and Toon was able to execute that post pattern to perfection. Again, gaining speed, running past the corner and the safety was well out of position, anticipating an out or a corner route, maybe even a flag. He guessed wrong is what happened. Turns into a 46-yard strike. Wilson to Nick Toon. That safety was Stafford, who's a junior college transfer. So what we've seen out of JCs is they're very talented, but they break down in discipline a lot because they're guessing, looking for a pick, looking for a big play, and that's what Stafford was looking for. Bo Pelini with some coaching points being made to his corner there, or to his DB, Siante Evans. Evans let two and go. Yep, I don't think did. Pelini was very pleased with that no, either. No, probably not. Probably not. Marlowe and Abdullah deep. Lerner with the kick. It's a hard ground ball scooped up 
across the 35 of Nebraska, up across the 40 to the 41. And a little shoving going on. Tyler Legate on the return. He's a full back. First down, Nebraska. Huskers have two timeouts available. 27 seconds left in the half. Ball at the Nebraska 42-yard line, first and 10. Wilson, 12 of 16 for 233 yards and two touchdowns. Pretty good first half, I'd say. Three receivers right, one receiver left. Pistol formation for Nebraska. Martinez to throw, four-man rush. Martinez fires, knocked down, incomplete. Batted down in the backfield. 23 seconds left in the half. Second and 10, Nebraska from the Cornhuskers, 42-yard line. Well, good credit to yeah. Tim Beck, the offensive coordinator. Not, not afraid here to th continue throwing the ball with Martinez, even yep. though he's been picked off twice. Second down, Ethan Hamer and Patrick Buttram there, both in the vicinity. Getting their hands up. Two receivers right, one to the left. Huskers at their own 42-yard line. Pre-snap movement. Flag flies. Patrick Buttram was all over it. You saw just a little flinch in that Nebraska offensive line. That'll cost the Cornhuskers five more yards. Wisconsin has converted on each of Martinez's interceptions on each of the last two possessions with touchdowns. So they've made the Huskers pay. Two receivers right, one to the left. For second and 15, Nebraska at its own 37. Badgers up by 13 with 23 seconds left in the half. Linebackers again creep up. Now walk back. Martinez, little quarterback draw. He's to the 40-yard line and to the 42, and he is stormed back from there. Mike Taylor there defensively, and he got some help from his friends. Clock's, uh, Rex Burkhead a little shaken up. He gets up. Clock stops with 14 seconds left in the half. As Nebraska, Nebraska using its second timeout. Martinez on the run for five. Third and ten for the Cornhuskers from their 42-yard line. 14 seconds left in the half. 27 to 14, Wisconsin. Matt, what surprised me just a little bit is that Nebraska hasn't tried to get Burkhardt more involved in the offense. I agree. And Burkett it, it has been one of their most indispensable players this season, and he really hasn't gotten engaged yet, No, through no fault of his own. They just haven't gotten him involved. Yep, ran for a buck 70 last week at Wyoming. Six attempts, 17 yards from Burkett here in the first half. Martinez has been busy running the ball. 14 totes, but he hasn't popped one yet. 37 yards. He's rushed for a touchdown, but that was a short run. Badger defense has uh, contained him pretty well. Third and 10 for the Cornhuskers from their 42-yard line. 16 seconds left in the half. 27-14, Wisconsin. Two receivers right, one to the left. Pistol formation. Martinez takes the snap, back to throw, has time, fires over the middle. That's caught at the 40, turn to 35, cutting left, fights his way to the 33 of Wisconsin. That'll stop the clock, eight seconds left in the half. Nebraska has one timeout available, but they stop the clock to move the sticks. Huskers will get to the line of scrimmage. And it looks like Martinez will line up the clock at perhaps, nope. They're going to go ahead. It looks like the Cornhuskers will use their final timeout, and they do. So with eight seconds left in the half, a decision here for Bo Pelini. Does he risk running a play and not having a chance even to line up for a field goal? Brett Maher is the kicker. His long this season has been 50 yards, and that's about what they would be looking at right now, and it looks like they're going to send him off. That was his first career attempt as well. He's yep. replaced an All-American kicker in Alex Henry. Yep. He is 8 of 9 in field goal tries this season. Missed for the first time last week against Wyoming. That miss was also from 50. This could be big points. Remember, Nebraska will get the second half kickoff. This will be from just inside of 51 yards away, left hash mark. 27 to 14, Wisconsin with eight seconds left in the first half. Austin Cassidy will hold, and now I believe the Badgers will take a timeout, and they do. They had two available, they use one of them here. 
Eight seconds left in the half, 27 to 14, Wisconsin. Well, you're right about the momentum thing. If the Huskers can get some more points on the board, here they have, then will have countered Wisconsin's last two scores to a certain extent by getting back a little momentum. Yeah, that was a big play, big throw there a moment ago for Nebraska, at least with a chance to get late points here in the second quarter. And again, I'll give credit to Beck, the offensive coordinator. He didn't hesitate to come right back with Martinez and have him throwing the ball with time running out in this half, despite the fact he had been intercepted, intercepted in each of the two previous series. Martinez is 9 of 17 through the air for 153 yards, as, and as Mike mentioned, the two interceptions. So just touch inside of 51 yards. That's the attempt for Brett Maher at the left hash mark. Lines are down. Wind is no factor. Snap, spot, kick is away. It has the distance, and it is no good. Wide to the right. Three seconds left in the first half, and the Badgers will take over at their 33-yard line. Well, he did have a lot of leg, did he not? He really My did. Goodness. Yep, the distance was not an issue. Just pushed it to the right. So that's maybe a moment to circle there. There's a long shot field goal. There's been a few goal. of them in this half. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They could have pulled Nebraska to within 10, and it gets the ball to start the third quarter. Badgers will just go ahead and take a knee here at the end of the half. And an entertaining first half of play comes to an end at Camp Randall Stadium. I was going to say they come to their feet at Camp Randall, but a lot of them have been on their feet all night long. At the end of 30 minutes here in Madison, Big Ten opener for both teams. Wisconsin, 27. Nebraska, 14. On the Badger Sports Network, this is the Wisconsin football dream season presented by American Family Insurance. Also brought to you by your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers, inviting you to visit your local Ford store or buyfordnow.com. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. Visit uwsportsmedicine.org. The Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors, building Wisconsin together. And by DeKalb, winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb brand corn. This is Badger Halftime. It's halftime of our dream season matchup. The Badgers getting two late second quarter touchdown passes. Russell Wilson hooking up with Jared Abraderis and then with Nick Toon. And suddenly it's 27-14, Wisconsin leading Nebraska at the half. Coming up next on our halftime report presented by NBC 15 and Madison CW. We'll check in on the Badger spring football practices. Matter of fact, today we turn the camera over to freshman cornerback Al Ashford out of Denver, Colorado. He's one of the early enrollees in the spring semester taking part in spring drills. We'll get his thoughts on how it's going for him and his fellow early enrollees as we continue with our halftime report coming up. This is the Wisconsin Football Dream Season presented by American Family Insurance. Preparation is the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Badgers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Cenex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Cenex station. Badger pride, powered locally. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet on the sunny side, the sunny side of the street. Ah! 
What's going on, y'all? I'm Matt Ashford the third uh, early enrollee cornerback, and I'm from uh, upstate New York, and I'll be interviewing the rest of early enrollees. I'm here with Riley Marmon, early enrollee, freshman, lineman. So, Riley, how is spring ball going? You know, it's going good. Uh, it's a lot different than high school, I'll tell you, but it's a lot of fun to be out here and uh, playing football. All right, I'm here with uh, inside linebacker Jake Cheney. Early enrollee from Cape Coral, Florida. So how has spring ball been so far? Well, you know. Ain't gonna lie to you. It's been nice. It's been cool. It's been great. So I'm here with Mike Jarvis, D lineman from uh, New Jersey. So Mike, how's everything going for you so far? Everything's been great. I mean, every, every day's a grinder. I'm um, just putting in that work and just trying to get after it every day with the boys. I'm here with early enrollee tight end, Jack Pugh from Columbus, Ohio. So Jack, what has been the toughest part about spring ball so far? I was just learning the playbook and learning the technique. I'm here with TJ Bowler's outside linebacker from uh, Tiffin, Iowa. What's been your favorite part of spring ball so far, T? I mean, so far my favorite part of spring ball, you know, probably just been coming out here to practice and then going home and taking a nap after practice. What is your nickname amongst the early enrollees? All right, so I got a couple. We got uh, Jar Jar, we got Jersey Mike, and we got Dirty Mike. And usually it's for me and all the early enrollees, it's Dirty Mike and the Boys. Dirty Mike and the Boys is a perfect name for the group, I would say. Living in Wisconsin, have you had cheese curds yet? Yeah, come on, I mean, yeah. Who do you think has the dirtiest room out of the early enrollees? Jack Few by far. I mean, it's organized in my opinion. I heard you got lost a couple times around campus, is that true? You know, a couple of times here and there, you know, couldn't find my way, got a got lost in the rain one time. And who out of the early enrollees would you say has the most in practice swag? You know, who has the drip? Dirty Mike. Look at him. He's a, he's a, he's a goon. Look at him. <laughs> Woo! Well, between the old linemen, if we were to have a race, who's winning the 100 meter dash? Old linemen? I gotta go me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm the lightest, so I still have some weight to gain, but I, I gotta go me. Is it, is it tough being an online student, you know, right now with everything? Uh, I like online better. Okay, real, real short and sweet, I like that. That's this week's Halftime Report presented by NBC 15 and Madison CW. Stay with us, the second half is coming up next. This is the Wisconsin Football Dream Season presented by American Family Insurance. Rock a drive block? Rush a pole crush? Jam a grand slam? Drunk? Drunk? That'd be insane! Rolling that? Rolling this? Roll together? Drunk? That would be super insane. Hey, all you ladies and guys. Drive sober on the road. No matter how many wheels you roll. If we build this, all the legendary players will magically appear, and we'll have sports again. I call it the field of fame. Of course, I'll have to tear down the garage, fill in the pool, and lose the trees. So can I get a loan? but as your banker, not so much. Let me talk to the friend. You could always invest in a college fund. No, my kids aren't going to college. They're going to work at the stadium. Our kids are going to college. Sports are back. My wife wants to build a college. And not a moment too soon. Buying your first home is the start of realizing bigger dreams with your family. That's why it's important to protect everything you love with American Family Insurance. Wait, what's that? It's their dream car. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. It's actually my dream car, and my little dream tire swing with some dream trees. There'd be a nice dream garden right here, too. Protect your dream home with American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Abdullah's longest return, kickoff return in the first half, was 25 yards. As a 100-yard return for a score, however, this season. Learner on the approach, kick is away, and Abdullah will wait for it. He'll catch left side at the 1, east to the 5, the 10. Abdullah the 15 along the left, hash marks 20, 25, 30. Slips through to the 35-yard line, and Brady Ewing runs him down. As Martinez will go under center, Rex Burkhead the single setback. On first down, a play fake. Martinez rolling right, heaves it right. Picked off Finellas, 50, 45, chopped out at the 42 of Nebraska. Another off-target ball from Martinez, and Antonio Finellas makes the Nebraska quarterback pay. 
Martinez simply wasn't on the same page with his receiver. He thought his receiver was going to run an out, and that's where he threw the ball to the boundary. And the Badgers have another golden opportunity at the Cornhuskers' 42-yard line. First and 10. Aberderis and Toon double wide to the right. Brady Ewing, Monty Ball offset eye behind Russell Wilson. And the hand off the ball over the right side of the 40. Slips a tackle, 35. Ball down to the 32 of Nebraska. Jared Crick in on the stop for the Cornhuskers. They'll place it at the 33, gain of nine, second and one in Nebraska territory. Well, we saw what the Badgers were able to do in the second quarter. Whenever Martinez made a mistake, they burned him with touchdowns. Nick Toon will come out wide to the left. Jared Abraderis to the right. Single setback is Monty Ball. Jacob Pedersen wing right covering Jake Byrne. Now Pedersen motions to the left on second and one. Here's the hand off to Ball. He's to the 30. Ball 25-yard line down to the 22 of Nebraska. Damian Stafford on the tackle. They'll mark at the 21 of Nebraska. Gain of 12. First down, Wisconsin. Good read by Monty Ball on the block thrown by his tight end, Jake Byrne, on the defensive end, Jason Ancraft. More than a minute gone by in the third quarter. Badgers up 13 and driving. Everdeer is in tune, double wide to the right. Offset eye, here's Monty Ball over the right side. Bangs inside the 20, down near the 16-yard line of Nebraska. Will Comp to the Mike linebacker on the stop. Badgers back into the Case IH red zone. Monty might have got shaken up on that hit with Stafford. That was a hard collision. Ball comes out. Ball at the 17, the football at the 17-yard line of Nebraska. It's a gain of four for Monty. Second down and six for Wisconsin. James White in at running back. Jake Byrne wide left. Nick Toon slot left. Jared Aberderis tight to the right. Byrne now motions left to right. Wilson. Hands off to White. Little stop and go move. Cutting to his right. Brought down just inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. Stafford on the stop. Third down and about three for Wisconsin. Boy, White did a nice job slipping past the outside linebacker, Sean Fisher. By himself another yard or so. By the way, how many six-foot-six linebackers do you find in college football? Yeah, when I was writing that down. I, I thought it was a misprint, that right? didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. 6'6", <laughs> 235. Badgers four of six. Third downs in the first half. It's third and three here at the Cornhuskers 14-yard line. Wilson in the gun. White to his left. There's a little toss left side. James White behind the pulling center. Peter Kahn's White fighting his way to the marker down to the 11-yard line. Close to it. That's the line to gain. It's going to be very close. Maybe a little bit short. So Cameron Meredith. Will Compton on the stop. Ball back in. White out. Badgers will go for it on fourth and one at the Nebraska 12-yard line. About three minutes gone. Third quarter. 27 to 14, Wisconsin. Big play here. Fourth and one, Wisconsin at the Cornhuskers 12. Aberdera, single wide receiver to the right. Offset eye, Brady Ewing and Monty Ball, and Nebraska will take a timeout. That's early in the half to be burning a timeout. But a huge play. They want to make sure they're organized defensively. May 3rd through the 7th is Teacher Appreciation Week. But why wait to thank an educator for keeping learning on track during this extraordinary school year? Post a thank you note to a Wisconsin public school teacher at WEAC.org. We act, we teach, we inspire. And WEA member benefits, enhancing the financial lives of Wisconsin public school employees. Cancer is often detected too late. At Exact Sciences, we're working to change lives by helping to detect cancer earlier. Headquartered in Madison, Exact Sciences is growing and needs dedicated, energetic individuals to join our team. You don't have to be a scientist to work at Exact Sciences. We're hiring for our laboratory and customer care teams and have hundreds of job openings for people of all backgrounds and experience levels. Visit exactsciences.com to learn more and join the fight against cancer. Change careers, change lives. Exact Sciences. Hard work, sweat, knowledge, and your own two hands. These are the tools that build Wisconsin. Leave your mark on the real world with zero debt and higher pay. All from day one. It's time to do work that works for you. Learn more at buildingwisconsintogether.com.
Fourth down and one for the Nebraska 12. Straight eye formation. Ewing the fullback. Ball the tailback. Abradera single wide receiver to the right. Pedersen wing left motions right. And off ball straight ahead. First down. He needs one. He gets two. Down to about the 10 yard line of Nebraska. So the last player who was getting instruction before the end of that timeout was P.J. Smith, who had the only chance of stopping Monty Ball before he picked up the first down, and he just couldn't close fast enough off the edge of the defense. First and goal, Wisconsin, at the Nebraska 10-yard line. Abradaris wide to the right, Ewing and Ball in the straight eye. Wing left is Pedersen. He'll motion to the right. Wilson takes the snap. He will fake the handoff, rolling left, gets away from Smith to the five, Wilson to the end zone, touchdown Wisconsin. He fakes the handoff to Monty Ball, he sells it well, and he beat P.J. Smith to the edge. Badgers lead 33-14. to Smith took three steps inside, thinking that the ball was going to go to the tailback. Three steps, and he just can't recover in time, especially against a quarterback like a Russell Wilson. Cassidy, the the other safety, also bit on the play fake inside, so there was nobody out on the numbers for Wilson. Great work by Wilson selling that fake. Extra point, Phillip Welch in the air and good. Time out of the field, 11-21. Left of the third quarter, Wisconsin 34, Nebraska 14. This is Badger football from Learfield Sports. Johnsonville Sausage has been family owned and making Badger Saturdays more delicious since 1945. Pick some up for a cookout, made the Johnsonville way. Here in the Midwest, community is important. Having a healthcare system that's looking out for us. That's actively addressing the racial disparities in healthcare is important. When we can get good quality care, we can do more. We can achieve more. We can be the kind of community we want to be, and that's really important. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on and to keep your family cool this summer. Let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant, whatever it takes. will be Alec Lerner, Tim Marlowe, and Amir Abdullah are deep for Nebraska. The Badgers have taken control of this game, at least for now. Lerner, the approach. Kick in the air. This is a line drive to the near side. Abdullah will have to play it near the sideline at the 15-20. A seam to the 30-35 yard line. Amir Abdullah brought down by Ethan Armstrong near the 40 yard line. Well, it looked like they had Abdullah pinned, but this kid can scoot and he found room down the left sideline. Bad play by Wisconsin's Gunner to this side, who got caught inside with two blockers. He lost contain. Cornhuskers will come out double wide to the right. Martinez under center, a straight eye formation. Option right, the toss to Burkett. Working the right side of the 40 yard line and taken down at the 41. Lewis and Zegwu with good work. Let's go down to the field, Patrick. And we talked in the Badger notebook, Matt, about how when teams have scored on Nebraska, 81% of the yards on those drives come through the air. The Badgers were following suit tonight. I'll finish up after this play. Second and eight, Huskers are on 42. Toss left side for Burkhead. He's in trouble. Slips a couple of defenders and does well to get a yard or two, but hang on. Penalty marker as Burkhead got hit beyond the boundary. Kevin Claxton was over there. Maybe that's the call. Let's I thought see. it was caught May- on Claxton. Oh, behind him. It blocked to the back, perhaps. So let's see. 
Yeah, the Badger uh, coaches are pointing that way. Let's see if it's a campaign or if there's something to it. It's, there's something to it. Going to go against Nebraska. It's holding. A hold against the Cornhuskers. Here's a call. Holding. Offense, number 81. Ten yards, previous spot. Repeat second down. Yeah, it's Ben Cotton. Go ahead, Patrick. Finish your thought. So to reiterate, in previous games, Nebraska's been vulnerable when teams throw through the air. Tonight, in Wisconsin's first four scoring drives, they threw for 77% of their yards. On that last drive, 55 yards on the ground. That was a statement drive. Huskers back to their 32-yard line. We're at second down and 18. Four receivers, two either way. Martinez in the pistol, back to throw, four-man rush, winds up, fires right side for Turner, jarred loose, incomplete. At the midfield stripe, Desmond Southward breaks up the pass intended for the freshman Jamal Turner. I can't wait until Southward gets some more snaps, see what type of player he develops into. He didn't begin playing football until his senior year of high school. Very, very athletically gifted. Third and 18 for the Huskers at their 32-yard line. 10-29 left in the third quarter. 34-14, Wisconsin. Four receivers, two either way. Martinez takes the snap. Badgers rushing a couple. Martinez dancing around, moves to his left. Now he'll run to the 30, 35 to the 40, and he gets drilled. Shy of the 40-yard line and gets whipped back. That was Buttram, I believe, getting in there for Wisconsin. Yes, sir, with help from Borland. As Martinez able to get back to the 40 of Nebraska, that's the original line of scrimmage, fourth and ten. Got to love the discipline again by the front four, staying in their pass rush lanes, and Zig will refuse to allow Martinez to get outside. Brett Maher will punt Abraderis deep at the Wisconsin 15, and now another timeout taken, and this time Wisconsin will use it. We'll keep it here with 9.49 left in the third quarter, 34-14, to 14, Wisconsin. We always like to use the phrase, as cliche as it may be, option sound. Being option sound. Barry taught us that, being option sound, and his teams usually were very option sound so far tonight. So far, Badgers have been... 24 rushes for the Huskers, 70 yards on the ground, Matt. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, we talked about the Wisconsin offense. The defense right now making a statement for Wisconsin. Line of scrimmage, the Nebraska 40. Brett Maher will punt, snap clean, pressure moderate, kick is away. And a fair catch called by Abraderis. He'll make it at the 18-yard line in Wisconsin territory. What a time out of the field. Nine minutes, 42 seconds left in the third quarter. Wisconsin 34, Nebraska 14. It's Badger football from Learfield Sports. Have kids sixth grade and under at home? Join Bucky's Kids Club, presented by Culver's. Register for free at uwbadgers.com slash kids club. You've heard the saying, if it looks like bacon and it tastes like sausage, it's probably Johnsonville Sausage Strips. Oh, you never heard that? Well, sausage strips are pretty new. They're strips of sausage in amazing flavors like maple and chorizo. You can find this meaty miracle by the bacon, even though it's sausage. Whoa. In these challenging, uncertain, uncharted times, you stand strong. No matter the conditions you face, you get the job done. You are the backbone of our communities. As we prepare to move forward, stay healthy. Appreciate life. Be safe. Treasure moments. Plan well. Money ball, the single running back, Nicktoon wide left, Jared Abraderis to the right. 
And they'll keep it on the ground. Monty Ball across the 20 yard line up to the 21 or 22. Gain of two or three in the play. Like big old Baker Stein cooler in there, 290 pound junior. Deep tackle. Gain of two to the 21 of Wisconsin. I think this big crowd's going to need jump around to get re energized. And they just might be tired. It's been, it's been a long day <laughs> for many of them. 34 to 14, Wisconsin. Second and eight for the Badgers at their own 21. Abraderis to the right, Toon to the left. Those young men with four touchdown or make that four receptions here tonight. Both with a touchdown. Toon motions left to right. Wilson rolling right. One pump throws it out for Dick Toon. Reaches out and cannot pull it in at the 45 yard line of the near side. He was open, but Russell overthrew him just a touch, it looked like. As Toon reaching out with a right hand, could not pull it back in. Oh, that play had big-time prompts. And that was the All-American, too, Dennard. He had him beat by four or five steps. Third and eight for the Badgers at their 21-yard line. Toon wide left, Garner slot right. Wide right is Abraderis. Wilson in the gun, ball to his left. Blitz coming, Wilson in trouble, and he'll throw it. Caught by Pedersen, has room, 25-30. 35-yard line, up to the 37. Levante David on the tackle as the Badgers have a great answer as Nebraska brought the heat. Yeah, there's no better counterpunch, Matt, than that middle screen to the tight end. When they're bringing seven, pressuring with seven, there's just nobody left at home in the middle of the field. 8.40 left in the third quarter, 34-14 to 14, Wisconsin. First and 10 for the Badgers at their own 37-yard line. Tuned to the right, checked by Dennard. Wide left, Abraderis. Pedersen wing left, motions into the backfield. Balls the running back. Here's the handoff to Monty over right guard to the 40, and he almost pulled all the way through. Pulled down at the 44-yard line. That was Stafford. Austin Stafford in on the tackle for Nebraska. Excuse me, Austin Cassidy along with Damian Stafford. Get the names right. Gain of seven to the Badger, 44, second down and three. Tune at Abraderis, double wide to the left. Ewing and ball, offset. Wilson under his center. Peter Kahn's takes the snap, gives the ball to the 45-yard line and gets stoned at the 46. Levante David getting in there. Cotton and Cassidy as well. Gain of two, and the Badgers have a third and one at their 46. Pick up two on the play. 7.42 and counting. Left of the third quarter, 34 to 14, Wisconsin. Monty's taken a couple of hits tonight where he's had to readjust his helmet. Uh-huh. <laughs> he has 19 totes for 89 yards tonight. He stays in there on third and one. Ewing offset to the right. After Darris, single wide receiver to the right. Wilson barks out the signals. The movement up front, a long count for Russell. Play clock is at two. And now a timeout taken. There's Russell Wilson using a timeout. I don't think he, I don't think he liked what Pedersen did. I, it looked like it might have been a busted play when yeah. Pedersen moved off the line of scrimmage. 7-14 left in the third quarter. 34 to 14, Wisconsin. We'll keep it here. 7-14 left in the third quarter. A 20-point Wisconsin lead. Aberdeer a single wide receiver to the right. Ewing and Ball, the backfield combo. They're offset. Pedersen in motion right to left. Wilson takes the snap. He'll give it the ball over the left side. Gets the first down. Churning those legs up to the midfield strike. Austin Cassidy on the tackle. And there's another answer. Honey Ball showing that power. He was hit. About the first down marker, but drove for another three yards. First down, Wisconsin from the 50. And you notice again, Pedersen sh shifted but was in motion. So it's possible that Wilson felt like he couldn't get the playoff in time to run Pedersen in motion the previous snap. Right, and took that timeout. Fresh set of downs now for the Badgers. 6.48 and counting left in the third quarter. Jake Byrne lining up at fullback now. James White behind him. Now Byrne will shift. Will stand up tight end. Look on the left side of the formation. Wilson. Little end around, Abraderis bending to his right to the 50, 45 yard line to the 40, Abraderis brought down near the 35 yard line of Nebraska. Damian Stafford on the stop, they'll place at the 35, little end around, good for 15 yards, another Wisconsin first down. Love that misdirection. Paul Chris has those linebackers and safeties moving and talking all the time with just the things he does before the ball is snapped. He's going to have moving and talking to themselves here with what 
is transpiring here to against this Nebraska defense. Aberderis and Toon double wide to the left. White and Ewing, the backfield combo. They're offset. On the Cornhuskers 35-yard line. Hand off to White. Working the left side of the 35-yard line. James White down to the 30 of Nebraska. Solid five-yard gain for the sophomore tailback. Hammer and Meredith on the tackle. Fifth straight running play for Wisconsin. Second and five. Ball just outside the Nebraska 30. 548 left in the third quarter. 34 to 14, Wisconsin. They become almost methodical on offense here in the third quarter. Yeah, a little ground and pound going on here for the Badgers. Tune to the left. He's with Alfonso Dennard. Averderis to the right. White the lone setback. Pedersen wing right motions to the left. Wilson. Play fake, back to throw, rolling right, looking, throwing right side. Abraderis goes down and cannot get it. At the 16-yard line, he was trying to sell it. They say incomplete. Third and five, Wisconsin at the Nebraska 30-yard line. We're close. Probably one of the easier throws Russell Wilson's had tonight with no real pressure on him, and he undershot Abraderis. Ball well, just outside the Cornhuskers, 30. Barry, or Barry, Brett, I think Brett Bielema asking, Jared, did you catch it? Did you catch it? And, and the coaches get... want players to be honest. Yep. Yeah, if you're going to burn a challenge. Brett challenged in the first half, and he was correct. Vanessa Garner, slot right as the play clock again winding down. Badgers a little late getting lined up in Wisconsin. Well, they're going to catch a break. They are going to review it. Here's a call. Play stands is called. Incomplete pass. Yep, not enough there to overturn. So it's third down and five. Wisconsin at the Nebraska 30-yard line. ABC is replaying Barry Alvarez's interception here when he was a Cornhusker linebacker. And once again, he gets caught by the offensive center and thrown down. <laughs> but a very nifty 25-yard return. <laughs> his legs went dead. He, he, he was honest with <laughs> me. He said his legs went dead on him. <laughs> not real fleet of foot, the ball coach, back in the day. Two receivers right, one to the left. Wilson in the gun. James White to his left. Third and five, Wisconsin at the Nebraska 30. Wilson back to throw, one pump. Now rolls off to his right. He's going to pump and run at the 30. Wilson 25-20 to the 15 and out of bounds. Inside the 15-yard line. Russell Wilson on the run again. First down, Wisconsin gain of 15. The Cornhuskers 15-yard line. The Badgers back into the Case IH red zone. Here's how smart Russell Wilson is. He knows that Dennard's playing Nick Toon man-to-man. So Dennard doesn't even pay attention to Wilson. He follows Nick Toon inside to the hash marks, which created right, the right. opening. Yep, Jason Ankro was in pursuit. Defensive end. Wilson able to outrun him. Ball back in a tailback. Ewing the fullback offset to the left. Abradaris single wide receiver to the left. Pedersen wing left motioning to the right. On first down, Wilson. And off the ball. Off the right side. Bangs his way to the 12. Pretty good collision there. Damian Stafford on the tackle. Let's, uh, let's go downstairs, Patrick. ESPN Game Day had a great stat this morning about people picking up third downs of five or more on the run. And Russell Wilson now has 17 third down conversions of five or more with his feet since the start of the 2010 season. That's the most of any player in football. Scott told Zine had zero last yep. year. <laughs> second down from the Nebraska 12, second and seven. Straight eye formation, Ewing and ball. Pedersen in motion right to left. Wilson, hands off the ball, trying to work the right side. It's tough sledding as he'll push his way to the 10 before he gets dumped. It'll be third and five. Will Compton in on the play defensively. He's the Mike linebacker for Nebraska. And my comment on Scott wasn't to diminish what he meant to this football team. It was only to point out the dimension that Russell Wilson has brought to the quarterback position in Wisconsin. Yeah, that is... Uh, I think a handful more at least than even Terrell Pryor last year for Ohio State through a like number of games. And, and Cam Newton was pretty fair a year ago. Three receivers left, one to the right. Wilson in the gun, ball to his left, third and five from the Nebraska 10. Wilson takes the snap, pressure coming. Russell throws, Abraderis catches inside the five to the four. Siante Evans on the stop. They need five, they get six. First and goal, Wisconsin at the Nebraska four. 
thing is here, too, Wilson knows that he's going to be pressured because he doesn't have enough blockers to pick up the blitzers. Knowing that, he just takes one quick step up in the pocket to make sure he has enough time to get the ball to his receiver, Aberderis. 2.52 left in the third quarter. The Badgers threatening to bust this one wide open. Ewing the fullback, ball the tailback. Pedersen wing left, motions right, first and goal at the Cornhuskers four-yard line. Here's Monty Ball probing the left side, little spin move, stays up, breaks the tackle, touchdown Wisconsin! Monty Ball from four yards away, 40 to 14, Wisconsin. Another big block thrown by Brady Ewing on the safety Austin Cassidy, but this one belongs to Monty. Monty Ball was spun through a tackler to get into the end zone. It's turning into a romp at Camp Randall Stadium. Philip Welch for the extra point. Snap is good. Placement. Kick is in the air, and it is good. We will keep it here. Two minutes and 36 seconds left of the third quarter. The count, Wisconsin 41, Nebraska 14. For Tim Marlowe and Amir Abdullah. Deep for the Cornhuskers. Lerner will kick off on the approach. Kick is away in the air. It'll be Amir Abdullah at the 8 to the 10, 15, 20. 25 between the hash marks, 30. Abdullah shoots ahead to about the 34-yard line. And that's where Nebraska will start. Ethan Armstrong in on kick coverage for Wisconsin. Badger Land Financial, your source for long-term fixed-rate financing on homes in the country or rural communities, recreational land, bear land, farms, and more. Badger Land Financial, proud sponsor of UW Athletics. On Taylor Martinez's last 11, 11 pass attempts, he has as many interceptions as he does completions. And we repeat, three completions, three picks. And we repeat, he really started out very efficient for most of the first half, and then it started to unravel. 34 first to 10 handoff Burkhead left side of the 35 to the 40 still going to the 45 and taken down at the 46 yard line and that'll be a 12 yard run and a first down for the Nebraska Cornhuskers Pat Muldoon tripped up to running back a little offense for the Cornhuskers 218 left in the third quarter 41 to 14 Wisconsin Straight eye formation, single wide receiver to the right, toss left side for Burkett. Tries to turn it back. He gets to the midfield stripe, slips a tackle, and Aaron Henry and Mike Taylor will slam him back. So the good six yard run at least for the 48, maybe the 47 of Wisconsin. See where they spot it. They will place it at just inside the 48 of the Badgers, second down and four, Nebraska. I have yet to see Burkett go down on first contact. He's always falling forward. One tough kid, 5'11, listed as. So at 210 pounds. Here's the handoff to Burkett again. Working the left side. Gets to the 45-yard line. Down to the 42 Burkett with a first down. Desmond Southworth in there defensively. Another first down for the Cornhuskers to the Badger 42. 137 to play in the third quarter. 41 to 14, Wisconsin. Brandon Kinney wide to the right. Jamal Turner, slot right. See the wide left as well. Pistol formation. Martinez takes the snap. He will fake the handoff. Throws to Turner. Catches right side 40. 35 yard line to the 30. And Aaron Henry in the stop. 12 more yards. And the first down for Nebraska. But does that put a lot of pressure on the defense? You have to defend three different options. The handoff, the play action handoff. Martinez just running the ball on his own. And then the throw in the flat. Huskers offense in rhythm for the first time in a while. 116 left in the third quarter. Badgers leading 41 to 14. Pistol formation, double wide to the left. Martinez will give to Burkhead, trying to break off to his left. Has some space to the 25 to the 20 yard line, and Marcus Cromarty able to chop him down at the 18 yard line. Another 12 yard gain. First down, Nebraska. I don't think it's any coincidence either. They've established Burkhead on this series. Yeah, it's made have. all the difference in the world. He is in some rhythm. One minute left in the third quarter. Nebraska threatening at the Badger 18-yard line. Two receivers right, one left. Pistol look with Burkhead behind Martinez. Takes the snap. 
Fakes the handoff. He'll shoot it right side. That's caught by Turner at the 15 right side, 10-yard line. Slips a tackle, cutting to his left. Now tries the reverse direction, and Claxton and Henry combine to make the tackle. It'll still be a first down as they'll place it at the 7-yard line. And now it's first and goal for the Cornhuskers. 37 seconds left in the third quarter. Same play they completed earlier with Martinez rolling right. Just dropping the pass in the flat to Turner. Quincy and Nunwa, single wide receiver to the left. Here's a toss right side for Burkett, trying to cut it back and runs into heavy traffic at about the six-yard line. It's driven back. Lewis and Zegwu in there defensively. Ethan Hemer as well. Make that well, Brendan Kelly in there as well as the clock winding down here in the third quarter. 15 minutes remaining in Madison, Wisconsin, 41, Nebraska, 14. Back in a moment. This is Badger football from Learfield Sports. It's that time, Badger fans. It's time for the great student section race presented by UW Continuing Studies. Center, Burke had the lone running back. Now Martinez checking to the bench for the play call. Barks out the signals, play clock at 12. Now it's a pistol formation for Nebraska. Martinez takes the snap, takes the handoff, running left, trying to turn it back in, and he gets whacked. Tyler Dipple with a good shot to the Cornhusters QB at the six yard line, third and goal. Kyler Reed did an adequate job of holding Chris Borland to keep him off the play. Dipple in there, Claxton as well in that last stop. Third and goal from the Wisconsin six. Ball at the left hash mark. Pistol formation, double wide to the right. Brandon Kinney wide, Quincy and Nunwa in the slot. Play clock at eight. Martinez, bad snap, trying to run down the loose ball, picks it up with a 20-yard line, slips a tackle, and he will be smothered at the 15. Tyler Dipple takes him down at the 14. Actually, the snap wasn't all that bad. Looked like Martinez really wasn't ready for it. It just shot past him. No, I think you can give credit to the crowd noise again. That center heard something maybe that he wasn't supposed to hear because Martinez was looking to the side. That's why it deflected off him. This will be a 32-yard field goal attempt for Brett Maher, a little bit right of center. Missed a 51-yarder late in the second quarter. Snap is clean, placement, kick is in the air, and it is good. 
Point Huskers have their first points of the second half. We'll step out. 13 minutes, 35 seconds remaining. Wisconsin 41, Nebraska 17. This is Badger football from Learfield Sports. No one can thrive on an empty stomach, and that's why Alliant Energy continues to help fight hunger in Wisconsin. Alliant Energy, using our energy for good in the communities we serve. Hey, Badger fans, Matzo Matt for Brewpub. Lots of Matzo pizzas. Absolutely love these Dream Season Badger games from back in the day. Hey, speaking of back in the day, remember when frozen pizzas were like a piece of cardboard laden with a flavorless sauce, topped with ingredients you'd reach after five bites, then sparsely decorated with cheese? Well, not anymore. Brewpub, lots of Matzo pizzas came along and were a game changer. A crispy, thin cracker crust topped with a bold sauce, loaded with quality meat and veggie toppings, then bombarded with over half a pound of award-winning mozzarella cheese. Brewpub pizzas, the perfect pizza no matter the season. As a Wisconsin Badgers football fan, you probably know a thing or two about consistent, top-quality performance. Hi, I'm Gary Leeper, General Manager at Dairyland Seed. And for over 110 years, we've been delivering nothing but the industry's best seed designed to deliver higher yields and unmatched quality to farmers in all environments and conditions. So just as you can bet on Bucky dominating the ground game, you can count on Dairyland Seed to be your most valuable partner each and every season. Dairyland Seed, proud sponsor of Wisconsin football and Wisconsin farmers. Here in the Midwest, community is important. Having a healthcare system that's looking out for us. That's actively addressing the racial disparities in healthcare is important. When we can get good quality care, we can do more. We can achieve more. We can be the kind of community we want to be, and that's really important. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. Well, do you consider at all here the possibility you're onside or you just kick it deep? You haven't stopped him, so I, I'm trying to make an argument one way or another. Well, you I'm not could. sure I can. Well, you could. Well, sir, I think the Badgers would be heads up for it here. And, uh, the Cornhuskers show us a pretty good rhythm on offense there, and then it broke down inside the Wisconsin 10. Maher set the kickoff. James White, Jared Abraderis are deep. Here's the approach, and the kick is away. So they'll kick it away. No onside. Here's James White at the 7. To the 10, running right. 15, White to the 20-yard line. Slips a tackle. Try to bust off to his right side. He'll push the pile across the 25, up to the 26, the 27-yard line. Pretty nice return there in traffic. Eric Martin in kick coverage for the Cornhuskers. The offset eye, Abraderis wide left, motions to the right. Nick Toon is wide right. Wilson will give to White over the right side. He'll drive up to about the 30-yard line, gain of three. Up off the pile, Terrence Moore, defensive tackle, senior out of New Orleans, started in place of Jared Crick a week ago at Wyoming. Nebraska's got its two backup defensive tackles on the field now, Moore and Randall. One player who hadn't made much of an impact tonight was Baker Steinkuhl. No, not a lot. Well, he's good. Make no mistake. Junior out of Lincoln. Badger's going to milk that clock now. 12.53 remaining. Second down and seven, Wisconsin from its own 30-yard line. Tune wide to the right, Abraderis to the left. White, the running back. He'll get the handoff, and he gets drilled by Levante David. Loss of one, the 29. Again, you see that athletic ability of... Nebraska outside linebacker, and a Badger is down. As the athletic trainers go out and tend to the injured Wisconsin player with 12.32 to play, 41 to it's Jake 17. Byrne, Jake Byrne, end. Jake Byrne shaking up. 41-17, Wisconsin. Jake, Jake Byrne, the senior, 6'4", 260-pounder out of Rogers, Arkansas. Pretty darn good story for college athletics because he's dealt with diabetes for how many years now yeah. since he was, uh, I think, a teenager, 15, 14 years old. He has helped to his feet. And he's going to need a little assistance to get off the field here. He's not a lot of weight really on either leg. Brett was uh, talking about him this week about how valuable he's become. You know, he doesn't get any of the sexiness by no one throws the ball to him but he's been so sturdy and consistent with his blocking yeah he has he has just the one catch but that really doesn't tell you the story 
It's third down and eight for Wisconsin at the Badgers' 29-yard line. Clock running again with 12 and a half minutes remaining. Wisconsin tonight on third down is eight of 11. Vanessa Garner wide to the right. Abradaris wide left. Toon slot left. Wilson in the gun. Monty Ball to his left. Here's Wilson back to throw. Rolling left. Looking. Shoots it left side. Abradaris incomplete. Flag down. Siante Evans, the corner. Looked like he tied up the Badgers receiver. And yet another Nebraska penalty, it appears. And if that's the case, it would be the eighth of the night on the Cornhuskers. That was a dark two thrown by Russell Wilson. Here comes the call. Holding. Holding. Defense. Defense. Ten-yard penalty. Who's automatic? First down. 12.06 remaining. 41-17 Wisconsin. Badgers are first and ten at their own 39-yard line. Badgers have rolled up 417 yards of offense. Russell Wilson is 14 of 20 through the air for 255 yards. The Badgers have rushed for 162. Monty Ball has 102 on 23 carries. He also has three touchdowns. Tune wide to the right. Abraderis to the left. Now in motion to the right. Offset eye with Ewing and Ball. Wilson will give the ball off the right side. Cuts it outside 40, 45. He's up to the midfield strike. Pull down there. It was Courtney Osborne out of the secondary on the tackle. 11 more yards for Monty Ball and another Badgers first down. And to get outside, Monty Ball needed one block, and he got it from his right offensive tackle, Josh Oglesby, who tied up number 98, Josh Williams, the defensive end for the Huskers. Good to see Josh back in there this week. It is. It's a good thing, isn't it? Yep. I said it before. I'll say it again. Really pulling for this guy to... Continue to play well and stay healthy. Backs off set. Tune wide right. Abraderis to the left. Wilson will hand off the ball straight ahead. And he has bounced to the turf of the 48-yard line of Nebraska. That was Cameron Meredith on the stop. As the soybean checkoff, I'd like to remind you that livestock and poultry producers help Wisconsin's rural communities thrive. Support animal agriculture in your area. 11-12 11-12 and counting left in the game. 41-17 Wisconsin. The Badgers have a second and eight at the Nebraska 48-yard line. Toon comes out to the right. Bonzo Dennard will check him. To the left is Abraderis. Andrew Green giving him space on that side of the formation. Straight eye behind Wilson. And broken that play clock, which is at five. He takes the snap handoff ball to the 45. Still going to the 40, working behind the left side of that Wisconsin offensive line. That'll be another first down for the Badgers. Levante David in on the play defensively for the Cornhuskers. You have to like the way Monty just pressed into that hole right behind Zeitler and Brady Ewing. Man, he just followed his blockers upfield. Monty Ball having himself another very impressive game. Well, he was looking forward to being on the big stage since he didn't play a snap against Ohio State last year. (laughs) He's handling that big, big stage awfully well. James White in there at running back now. Abraderis and Vanessa Garner double wide to the right. Wilson will hand it to White. Work on the left side to the 40. Turns it up 35-yard line and thrown down at the 33 of Nebraska. On the tackle is Chase Rome, defensive lineman, redshirt freshman. We have 10 minutes to play, 41-17, Wisconsin. Ball at the 34 of Nebraska. Second down and four for Wisconsin. Ground and pound mode right now again. Abraderis wide to the right. Garner to the left. Ewing the fullback. White the tailback. Straight eye formation. Wilson surveys the defense. Takes the snap. He'll turn. Give it to White. Breaks off to the right side. Getting to the corner. Flag down to the 30 to the 25 and out of bounds. Alfonso Dennard forcing him to the boundary. Penalty marker, though, at the line of scrimmage. That's going to come back holding. I saw a couple of them. I think Pedersen had one and Oglesby the other. We'll see who they call it on. Bill Lemagne, the referee. Holding. 67 offense. 10 yards. Repeat second down. That would be Oglesby. Well, at the 44 of Nebraska, the Badgers have a second down at 14. 9 20 and counting left in the game. 41-17 41-17 score with the Badgers in command. 
Aberderis and Garner double wide to the right. Money ball back in at tailback. Ewing the fullback offset to the right. They'll fake the quick pass. A hand off the ball. Working the right side. Slips one defender inside the 40 down to the 39-yard line. P.J. Smith and Levante David on the stop for the Cornhuskers. Third and nine now for the Badgers at the Nebraska 39-yard line. Toon comes back in as Ewing comes out. Clock rolling on, 8.38 to play. Nebraska led for a good chunk of the first half, but Wisconsin, with a pair of touchdowns in the final two minutes of the half, led 27 to 14. And the home team has been in control since. Garner wide to the right, Abraderis wide to the left, Toon slot left. Wilson in the shotgun, takes the snap, rolling to his left, looking, sets. Now he'll tuck it and run to the 40-yard line, and he is sliding to the turf. But Lance Thorell over there as well, and a penalty marker way back at the five-yard line of Nebraska. Wilson taken down at about the 40. And we will check the penalty there. I mean, that's 35 (laughs) yards off the ball. Nick Toon was involved with a couple of Huskers. The conference going on with this Big Ten officiating crew with 8.04 to play. Here we go. Following the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 12, 15-yard penalty. Ooh, that hurts. Automatic, first out. That's Courtney Osborne, the frustration mounting for the black shirts. And they had Wisconsin stopped. And that penalty gives the Badgers a gift first down at the Cornhuskers 24-yard line. I don't think he'll see too many more snaps. We'll see if Polini pulls him. <laughs> He's still well, out was, there. Still yeah, out there was, for he, now. He was going to wave Cassidy back in the game, and he said, no, no. <laughs> it was a push from behind. Yeah. Mm. Not very smart. Well, James White, the running back from the Nebraska 24-yard line. Garner wide right, Aberderis to the left. Jared now motions. They fake the fly sweep. Hand off to, or they they do give it to Aberderis on the fly sweep. Fooled me, working the right side inside the 25 to the 20 and down to the 16-yard line. A little fly sweep to Jared Aberderis. And it's good for eight yards to the 16 of the Cornhuskers. Second down and two. They haven't really begun to exploit defenses with that play, but they will as this season plays out. Yeah, they introduced it for the first time this season last week against South Dakota. 7-10 to play. Badgers on the march and in control. Aberderis wide to the left. White and Ewing, straight eye formation. Pedersen wing right, motions to the left. Wilson hands off to White. Little stop and go move inside the 15 to about the 13, and that'll get him a first down. Joseph Carter on the defensive line makes the play for Nebraska. And the drive continues for Wisconsin. First and 10 at the Cornhuskers 13 yard line. That was a really impressive, what, three yard run? That was. Because it wasn't easy. 6.40 to play. The slow wave has now picked up pace here at Camp Randall. That's the noise you're hearing in the background. More of a quick wave now. Aberderis wide to the left. Ewing and ball in the straight eye formation. Pedersen motioning right to left. Here's the handoff to Monty Ball over the right side for about two yards to the 11. Into several Nebraska defenders, including defensive lineman Chase Roan. Second and eight from the Cornhuskers 11. Seitler is down. Kevin Seitler. All right, the right guard. And the athletic trainers will come out and take a look at him. Enjoy this dream season with the meal of your dreams. Head to Culver's where you can enjoy the original Culver's Butter Burger. Fresh beef cooked to order and topped with a lightly buttered toasted bun. Welcome to Delicious. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. You've heard the saying, 
If it looks like bacon and it tastes like sausage, it's probably Johnsonville Sausage Strips. Oh, you never heard that? Well, sausage strips are pretty new. They're strips of sausage in amazing flavors like maple and chorizo. You can find this meaty miracle by the bacon, even though it's sausage. Whoa. Because of this, we made Ford Super Duty the most capable heavy-duty pickup ever. Because of this, we built Ford F-150 with 375 horsepower and best-in-class payload. Because of this, we built Ford Ranger with the terrain management system. And because Ford trucks are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. Well, at the 11 of Nebraska, second down and eight. 5.53 and counting left of the game. 41-17, Wisconsin. Ball, the single setback. Wilson will give it to him. Here's Monty busting off to the right side. Breaks a tackle 10. Ball to the five. Ball popped loose. He is brought down at the one. Looks like penalty marker down as well. He grabbed the uh, back of the shoulder pads. I thought the I thought the football popped out. It did not. Looks like there might be a, be a horse penalty collar. against North. Yeah, horse, horse collar. collar. Yep. Holding. Nope. Ooh, oops. Offense. Never mind. Yards, Take a look at the replay. You got grabbed on the back of the pads. I thought that was the horse collar de definition. So the ball was going to be at the one yard line. Now it's at the 15. The penalty was on Manessa Garner. And just to make it clear, there was no fumble there. As, uh, Badger running backs have now had more than 700 touches without putting the ball on the ground. The last running back to cough it up was in the San Jose State game last September. Second down and 12, Wisconsin. The Nebraska 15-yard line. Pedersen in motion left to right. Ball the running back. Hand off to Monty over the right side. Gets popped. Now bust off to his left. And now in pursuit. Ball to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Wisconsin! Stopped at the point of attack, but never tackled. Monty Ball slants to his left. Russell Wilson was looking for someone to block. He didn't have to. Badgers in again, 47 to 17. On that bounce cut, Ball was able to outrun Andrew Green, who looked like he had the tackling angle, and Russell Wilson got up field and then threw up his hands to make sure there was no suggestion of a hold or any contact. It's a route at Camp Randall Stadium. Philip Welch for the extra point in the air, and it is good. Timeout on the field. Five minutes, 11 seconds to play. Wisconsin 48, Nebraska 17. This is Badger football from Learfield Sports. Dairyland Seed offers Wisconsin farmers elite genetics in corn, soybeans, alfalfa, and silage. Visit dairylandseed.com to learn more. As we prepare to move forward, stay healthy, appreciate life, be safe, treasure moments, plan well. Cancer is often detected too late. At Exact Sciences, we're working to change lives by helping to detect cancer earlier. Headquartered in Madison, Exact Sciences is growing and needs dedicated, energetic individuals to join our team. You don't have to be a scientist to work at Exact Sciences. We're hiring for our laboratory and customer care teams and have hundreds of job openings for people of all backgrounds and experience levels. Visit exactsciences.com to learn more and join the fight against cancer. Change careers, change lives. Exact Sciences. Here, Abdullah, Tim Marlowe deep. Tonight's game representing the first 
matchup of top 10 teams here in Madison since 1962. That was when Wisconsin beat Minnesota in what was a Rose Bowl season for the Badgers. Tonight's game, not even close. Lerner with a kick in the air. Amir Abdullah, left side, will catch at the 2. He is to the 5, to the 10, slanting right, 15, 20. 25 to the 30-yard line. Abdullah, the 35, still going. Breaks one more tackle, and Connor O'Neill will throw him down at the 39-yard line. There's an option to the left side. Martinez will toss it to Burkett. He's at the 40. 45-yard line to the 50, and thrown down at the 50. Mike Taylor on the stop. It'll be an 11-yard gain and a first down for the Huskers. The midfield stripe with 4.54 to play. Be perfectly candid. I'm kind of glad, glad Nebraska didn't try to establish Burkett earlier. Yeah, we, we were both surprised. Now, Martinez is obviously an outstanding runner, but the Badgers have held him in check. Full house pistol look. Here's Amir Abdullah taking a handoff, running the right side into Wisconsin territory at the 47-yard line. Ball popped out. Play was dead. Mike Taylor on the stop. And Dipple over there as well. Abdullah a little slow to get up, but appears to be okay. Clock rolling on, 425 remaining. 48-17, Wisconsin. Second down and seven, Nebraska at the Wisconsin 47-yard line. Wide receivers either way, pistol formation. Martinez will hand it to Burkett, trying to cut off to his left, not getting far, thrown down by Bo Allen. And Chris Borland in there as well, but I think that was big old Bo Allen with the first hit. He's played well tonight. He got a sack yes. earlier, did he not? He, he did, yes. Loss of a yard to the four to make that two yards to the 49 of Wisconsin. Third down and nine for Nebraska. 340 left of the game. Kenny Bell wide left. Jamal Turner slot left. Quincy Anunwa comes out wide to the right. Pistol formation. Burke had the running back. Martinez takes the snap. Back to throw. Now he'll run. Quarterback draw to the 50-yard line. Martinez the 45 and down to the 42. Maybe the 41. Ethan Armstrong wraps him up. And it'll be fourth down and two for Nebraska at the Wisconsin 42-yard line. Coaches have compared Derek Landish's energy to Chris Borland. And in some of these schemes we've seen tonight, they've rushed Borland off one edge and Landish off the other. Landish a very promising freshman linebacker. Double wide to the right. Fourth and two, Nebraska at the Wisconsin 42-yard line. 252 and counting left in the game. 48-17, the Badgers. Martinez takes the snap. Option left. He'll keep. He'll turn. He will get the first down, I think, just inside the 40-yard line. Mike Taylor, with Mike the Taylor getting over there defensively for Wisconsin. Well, he's made a lot of plays. He really has. He had one of those two picks in the second quarter that turned this game around. In fact, his pick led to Wisconsin taking the lead for good. Double wide to the right. Two and a half minutes to play. First and ten for the Cornhuskers. Option to the right side. Martinez will toss to Burkett at the 40. 35-yard line to the 30. And caught from behind inside the 30. Down about the 28 of Wisconsin. Pat Muldoon on the stop for the Badgers. First down for the Cornhuskers at the Badger 28-yard line. 2.20 to play. Off week next week for Wisconsin. Then Indiana comes to town. Hoosiers hanging in there. Pretty competitive for a chunk of the game against Penn State. The Lions end up winning the game 16-10. to Double wide to the left. Straight eye formation. Tyler Legates in the game at fullback. Rex Burkhead the tailback. Play fake Martinez, back to throw, steps up, hit as he throws, deep ball, and it's up for grabs. It is incomplete in the end zone. Tyler Reed, the tight end, the intended receiver. Man, Martinez got labeled by Lewis in Zegwu just as he was uncorking the pass. He, he didn't bounce up right away either. That one hurt. Aaron Henry on the coverage. Let's go back down to the field, Patrick. The, uh, the Badgers have put up 48 points on Nebraska, the most they have allowed since 2008. And this being their first Big Ten game, the chant resonating out of the student section during the Wisconsin's last drive was simply Big Ten football. <laughs> Welcome to it. Here's Martinez throwing left side. Kyrie Cooper the catch, and he'll get only to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard, Aaron Henry on the stop. And with a minute 40 and counting left of the game, 
Ball's at the 27-yard line of Wisconsin. It's now third down and nine after a pass play for one. Double wide to the right. Pistol formation. Lock continues to roll. A minute 20 remaining. Martinez, option right side. He'll toss it to Burkhead at the 30. Right side, 25 to the 20. Burkhead scoots out of bounds near the 15. They'll mark at the 17. That'll be a first down with a yard to spare with a minute 13 to play. Nebraska trying to, you know, lost cause. Still trying to get some rhythm going on offense. Trying to get back into the end zone. Mike mentioned a moment ago, Nebraska with its conference home opener next week against Ohio State. Double wide to the left. Pistol formation from the Wisconsin 17-yard line. Option left side, the toss to Burkhead. He's at the 20, turns it up 15. Burkhead to the 10, and brought down there. That was Taylor again. As we approach one minute remaining at Camp Randall. But this game constitutes one step closer towards validation for this football program. Still a long ways to go with those two road dates at Michigan State and Ohio State. But this was important to take that first step in conference play. No doubt about it. Those road games at night in consecutive weeks. Here's the handoff. Burkhead over the left side inside the 10 down to about the 7 or 8 yard line. Close to another first down. And it was Taylor again. It's a first down Nebraska. First and goal with 36 seconds to play. Off the Badger seven yard line. Double wide to the right. Again, the pistol. Option right side. Martinez keeps it to the five and down to the one. And guess who was in on the tackle? Taylor again, along with Tyler Dipple and Des Southward. 18 seconds left. Taylor taking his time getting off of Martinez. And I think Nebraska's going to want to get points here. Yep, it's going to take another timeout. The crowd doesn't like it, but. Can't, can't blame Bo Pelini here. He wants something to build on. Ball's at the one-yard line of Wisconsin. And let's take the timeout with them. 12 seconds left. 48-17 Wisconsin. Back in a moment. It's Badger football from Learfield Sports. UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers and proud sponsors of UW Athletics. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. As a Wisconsin Badgers football fan, you probably know a thing or two about consistent, top-quality performance. Hi, I'm Gary Leeper, General Manager at Dairyland Seed, and for over 110 years, we've been delivering nothing but the industry's best seed designed to deliver higher yields and unmatched quality to farmers in all environments and conditions. So just as you can bet on Bucky dominating the ground game, you can count on Dairyland Seed to be your most valuable partner each and every season. Dairyland Seed, proud sponsor of Wisconsin football and Wisconsin farmers. Hey, Badger fans, Matzo Matt for Brewpub Lots of Matzo Pizzas. Absolutely loving these Dream Season Badger games from back in the day. Hey, speaking of back in the day, remember when frozen pizzas were like a piece of cardboard laden with a flavorless sauce, topped with ingredients you'd reach after five bites, then sparsely decorated with cheese? Well, not anymore. Brewpub Lots of Matzo Pizzas came along and were a game changer. A crispy, thin cracker crust topped with a bold sauce, loaded with quality meat and veggie toppings, then bombarded with over half a pound of award-winning mozzarella cheese. Brewpub Pizzas, the perfect pizza no matter the season. Here in the Midwest, community is important. Having a healthcare system that's looking out for us. That's actively addressing the racial disparities in healthcare is important. When we can get good quality care, we can do more. We can achieve more. We can be the kind of community we want to be, and that's really important. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. Of shots here to get into the end zone. It's second and goal at the Wisconsin one. Under center Martinez takes the snap. He'll try to run it, and he gets stopped short of the goal line. As with six seconds, with five, and Nebraska's going to let time wind down. Badgers get the stop, and a dominant home performance for Brett Bielema and the Wisconsin Badgers. Maybe that last punctuation mark was only fitting, too, that the Badgers denied Martinez at the goal line. And guess who was in the middle of it again? Number 53, Mike Taylor. What a night for the oh Badgers my. linebacker. I try to dial up his statistics here. We're giving you some offensive numbers. 
14 stops on the night for Mike Taylor. Also, also Ethan Hemer into that last play. But what a night for the Badgers linebacker. Back in the day when they were more liberal, that would have been 34 tackles. <laughs> that was exact, it seems like we called his name about that many times. That's right. He's a, he's a more, uh, more liberal work there in the stat column. Badgers, though, will take it. And, man, do they take it to Nebraska tonight. Final score, Wisconsin 48, Nebraska 17. For our network stations, coming up second half break number eight. Back in a moment, this is Badger Football from Learfield Sports. Because of this, we made Ford Super Duty the most capable heavy-duty pickup ever. Because of this... We built Ford F-150 with 375 horsepower and best-in-class payload. Because of this, we built Ford Ranger with the terrain management system. And because Ford trucks are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. You've heard the saying, if it looks like bacon and it tastes like sausage, it's probably Johnsonville Sausage Strips. Oh, you never heard that? Well, Sausage Strips are pretty new. They're strips of sausage in amazing flavors like maple and chorizo. You can find this meaty miracle by the bacon, even though it's sausage. Whoa. Get to B-dubs on Thursdays for buy one, get one free boneless wings. Or as we like to say, 100% more wings. That's right. When you buy boneless wings on Thursdays, you get the same amount of wings for $0.00. Basically, the second order is 100% off. So get here for buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. Buffalo Wild Wings. Roar! Buy one, get one of equal value free. Dine in at participating locations. Takeout is limited and may vary by location. Size exclusions may apply while supplies last. Limit one offer per customer. Not valid with any other coupon. On the Badger Sports Network, you've been listening to the Wisconsin football dream season presented by American Family Insurance. Also brought to you by Alliant Energy, powering beyond. Case IH, enter the red zone with Case IH. Visit CaseIH.com backslash Badgers. U.S. Bank, helping individuals and businesses work toward their financial goals. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by DeKalb. Winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb Brand Corn. Welcome to the Badger Post Game Show. Welcome into the Ford Post Game Show. The Badgers fell behind early in this game and led comfortably at halftime and cruised to a 48 to 17 win against Nebraska. Anybody on the outside who wondered how good this Wisconsin team could be would wonder no more as the Badgers dominating Nebraska in the Huskers' first game as a member of the Big Ten Conference. Time now for our Annex Wealth Management difference maker of the game. Annex Wealth Management, know the difference. Monte Ball, boy, what a year he had, what a career he had as a Wisconsin Badger, and he really hurt the Huskers on this Saturday night. 30 totes of the ball for 151 yards and four touchdowns for one of the best running backs. There have been a lot of good ones, but one of the best to wear a Wisconsin Badgers uniform, helping the Badgers to this lopsided win in 2011. Stay with us when we come back. We'll tell you about next week's dream season matchup as our Ford Post Game Show continues. This is the Wisconsin Football Dream Season, presented by American Family Insurance. In these challenging, uncertain, uncharted times, you stand strong. No matter the conditions you face, you get the job done. You are the backbone of our communities. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com 
Welcome back to the Ford Post Game Show. We hope you have enjoyed our look back at the 2011 Wisconsin Nebraska game. We have one more dream season game to present to you this spring. It comes up this Saturday at noon as the Badgers and Minnesota hook up in the annual battle for Paul Bunyan's axe. We go back to 2016 for this game. You can watch it on youtube.com slash Wisconsin Badgers or listen throughout the state on the Badger Sports Network. We thank you so much for joining us. For those watching on YouTube, stick around. The fifth quarter presented by American Family Insurance is coming up and we thank all of you for watching and listening. This is the Wisconsin football dream season from Learfield IMG College.
You've been listening to the Wisconsin Football Dream Season, presented by American Family Insurance. Also brought to you by UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. Visit uwsportsmedicine.org. American Family Insurance, because your dreams deserve a champion. Cenex, powered locally. And by Case IH. Enter the red zone with Case IH. Visit CaseIH.com backslash Badgers. The preceding has been a Learfield IMG College presentation of the Badger Sports Network.